We are live. We are live. Welcome to College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our ever-growing channel. Smash that like button if you like our content. Share the video with your family and friends. Share it with your neighbor. Share it with your psychiatrist. Share it across your personal social media platforms. Welcome into the studio that sits on the corner of Keith Jackson Parkway and Kurt Gowdy Avenue. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to be a legend in the chat room with your comments and with your phone calls throughout Watch Party. Golden Gophers versus the Cornhuskers. Devastating news right off the bat. Now, as you know, two hours before kickoff time for every Big Ten conference game, both teams need to show their injury reports. So I'm sitting there. I got a little bit of anxiety. I think the Gophers are healthy. I talked about all off season. I have the Gophers at six and six because of the depth within the back seven is not how you would want it going in to a Big Ten football season. They have one linebacker, Cody Lindenberg, number forty five. He's an absolute monster. He's the only linebacker who's played really any snaps in Power Five football. He is a great football player. Going to be going in the NFL draft. At some point, an incredible athlete, a monster. The one guy that I would have picked that the Gophers could not afford to lose for game one or any part of the season. That's Cody Lindenberg. So when the report came out at 5 o'clock Central Time, who was on that injury report? Cody, Cody Lindenberg. He's out. Now, I know what his injury is. I'm not going to put it out on this show because it's not out in public. Um, it's, it's, it's not an injury that should keep him out for a half a year. He should be able to come back sooner rather than later. But my good, the one guy, the one man that we could not lose the back seven is already, well, I, it's, yes, it's panic time. Even before kickoff, it's panic time throughout the Golden Gopher fan base. And I'm not the only one reacting to this. The one player that we could not afford to lose. And we lost him before the kickoff even started. In game one, unbelievable. If I, look, the Gophers would be better off if we didn't have Ethan Kaliak Manis to start the game. We would be better off if we had Cole Kramer, the quarterback, the backup quarterback, than what just happened. Yeah, this is bad. This is bad. Now for Nebraska, yes, Heinrich, their linebackers out, and Butler's out. Who cares? Look, the... They don't, nobody has less depth than the Gophers do. And shame on us, right? Shame on us. And that's why I got us at six and six because of this. I, every show I was on with Big Ten Ted on his show, and I told him, I said, if somebody could promise me that the Golden Gophers would not have injuries with Cody Lindenberg or with anybody the start, uh, Justin Wally or Tyler Newbert. If somebody could promise me that, if somebody had a crystal ball and promised me that, I could see the Gophers possibly being in position to go eight and four with another ball win, getting another nine win season. But of course, nobody can promise me that. And before game one, no, none of us had an inkling that Cody Lindenberg was injured. Not, this wasn't one of those Heinrich of Nebraska 
There's been reports out there for weeks that it didn't look like he was going to play the first game. Cody Lindenberg, out of nowhere, our best defensive player, out for game one. So, as you can imagine, I'm already... <laughs> there hasn't even been a kickoff yet, and I'm already absolutely devastated. You got to keep rowing. You got to keep rowing. But let's make something perfectly clear. Devin Williams... Brad Seelig, the transfer from West Virginia, uh, uh, from um, Western Michigan, Barnowski, are, are the whole linebacker crew for the Gophers have not played snaps at Power 5 football level. And we're going up against a quarterback who's going to run the ball at least 10 different times, the athletic Jeff Sims. I, I don't know. I'm um I wonder what the line is now in Vegas. It was minus seven when we made the plays here at Peek Around the Corner. Okay, let's get to uh thank you everybody for coming in. Skull Ducky, good evening to you, Kyle Visser. Hello to you, sir. Thanks for coming on in. Amac, howdy, let's go. Buckshot Kid. Good evening, Greg. I'm ready for football. How about you? I'm watching UCF. They just scored the second touchdown. They're up 13 and nothing against Kent State. Gary, Penn State Nittly Lion. Calm down, Greg. Tonight the Gophers go 1-0. Look, it's not an excuse. This is the weakness of the Gophers going into the season. It just so happens the weakness has already come and bit us in the butt before the kickoff of game one. Ah, Ted Evans. I need Daniel Jackson to have a big game for big money props when Daniel Jackson, ready to go, ready to go, number nine, a wide receiver, him and eighth and Cadillac Man seem to have some sort of connection Daniel Jackson, Elijah Spencer, the receivers, and of course the great tight end Brevin Span Ford. The Gophers are going to have to score tonight to win. I mean, they're going to have to load up. They're going to have to be aggressive. They're going to have to score a lot of points because the heart, the soul, the best player on defense is gone for the Golden Gophers for game one. And I cannot shake it off. Gophers, Skull Ducky, Matt Shunk, Gus Johnson, and Joe Clatt. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I can't have the volume on in the studio for obvious reasons. So I have to uh, read a caption. So I cannot listen to Gus Johnson and Joe Clatt, but you all can. You all can. Now, once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm probably going to be behind you. Right, we're going to re react in real time. Go ahead, react, put down in the comment section. I'm not going to read the comment section until a play is over, but I'm going to be either 10 seconds, 20 seconds behind you guys. So that's just the way, that's just how it is. But don't let it bother you. Susan Murray, yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby, Susan, my sister Susan. The Gophers are already down their best defensive player. Even before kickoff happens, Cody Lindenberg, it's not so much, yeah, baby. It's what the heck is going on. It's devastation. That's what's going on. John Peterson, as a Minnesota-born Gopher fan, but as a Houston alum, I know what Matt Rule can do. Corn Huskers in a barn burner tonight. Yes, Matt Rule. Hopefully he doesn't get that program going for at least another year. But we shall see. Hey, Gopher Godfather, let's go Gophers. Bubba Bryant, thanks for coming into the house. Kirk Bender, I still have faith in the Gophers tonight. I just might have to watch the game drunk. I would be with you. Kirk, I would be with you. But I have a show to run. And we got cloak and dagger mugs. You can fill it up with beer, tequila, diet coke, which I have. 
Go to the merchandise store. There's a link provided in the description. Go to the merch store. There's mugs, there's t-shirts, there's hoodies. Get ready for the fall and the winter. Go to the merch store. Jason Isaac, go big red. Hello, everyone. The architect is in the house. Greg, the big lights are so bright and I'm feeling the pressure. I'm buckling up under the pressure. Kent State down 14 to nothing. The head coach of Kent State is Kenny Burns, a long time Peter, uh, PJ Fleck running back coach. He's got his first head coaching stint tonight and he's down a big 14 to nothing. Plummer looks pretty good. And we talked about in the off season. You, UCF's defense is legit. I'd be surprised if Kent State can put up more than 10 points up in this game. Greg, you're fear-mongering. You're fear -mongering. It's called an anxiety attack, Tony. It's called an anxiety. What did I tell you, Tony? What did I tell you? Ooh, big, big shot. Kent State, 20, 15, 10, 5. Down at the 1. Kent State, I just got done saying, I don't think they're going to score more than 10 points. And what do they do? 75-yard passing play. They're down at UCF's one-yard line. Holy smokes. That was a slant pattern. He beat everybody, the wide receiver, down at the UCF's one-yard line. Is this a watch party for the Mighty Gators? No, it isn't, Bean, but we'll keep an eye on the game. We'll keep an eye on the game. This is a watch party for the beloved Minnesota Golden Gophers. Will we end up doing a watch party for the Gators at some point this season? We very well could. We do more than just the Golden Gophers. But it's the one time that my bias kicks in on the maroon and gold, and I do the Golden Gophers almost every week. Next week, I won't be able to do one. The week after, I won't be able to do the Gophers because I got a couple weddings to go to. But there are other games throughout the week, Thursday night, Friday night games. On those weekends, I will be doing a watch party. It's Christopher Shannon, Sky, you, Ma, absolutely, absolutely. Maria Hernandez Garcia, the wife, the moderator, who rules with an iron fist, Sky, you, Ma, Rick Olson, Gophers, beat the Cobs. Beat them Cobs. Beat them Cobs of corn. The Corn Huskers. Ma, Poff, got to work tonight. Gophers win. Go Greg looks a little plump on the t-shirt. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? What are you looking at there? What are you looking at there? What are you looking at there? That's Minnesota. That's Minnesota. Ola from Randy Taylor. The only way we lose will because Greg did not wear a gold t-shirt. Tony, I figured if I wore a gold t-shirt that we would definitely lose. So I'm doing reverse psychology, reverse Greg the Cooler type of spin. Greg, I'm ready for the game tonight. So am I. So am I. It looks like I might be the only Gopher fan in the chat in this live show that is devastated about Cody Lindenberg. I don't know what you all are drinking, Gopher fans, but he was our best defensive player. Tyler Newbin, you can make an argument. Justin Wally, a very good defensive back. But Cody Lindenberg is the heart, soul, the monster. The monster in the back seven. Kent State with a big play. Yep, absolutely. Now, I don't know what happened. It looks like they've gone back a second and eight. What happened here? Why are they not at the one yard line? I haven't been paying attention. Joel McNeil, rational Husker fan here. Our goal is improvement this year. Stop beating ourselves, penalties, turnovers, and get one or two yards on third down. That sounds like a good deal, Joel. Uh, I think also the Cornhuskers are looking at, I think the fans should be looking at, a coaching staff can, can make adjustments during the game. So many times, Scott Frost and his staff, the Cornhuskers would be up some points, and then they would lose it all by the end of the game. 
somebody that can make some in-game adjustments. And of course, Matt Rule, he's got the credibility. His coaching staff, they have the credentials. I think you're going to be just fine, Nebraska. I, I got you going to a bowl game this year. That's the first down by Kent State. I'm not sure why they didn't. I'm not sure what happened. But Kent State still has the ball. You're my Wapo, Mireya. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Kent State got a penalty. Ah, illegal man downfield. Mm. Got it. Thank you, guys. I have said I'm very proud, Kyle. I'm very proud and fortunate to be going to the wedding of my of my niece and a really good friend of mine. Uh, I shouldn't say you got to go. I, I shouldn't say I have to go to the weddings. You are correct. But over the last couple months, I have said on this show, I'm very happy, proud, privileged to be invited to these two outstanding people's weddings and the person that they're getting married. However, <laughs> I'll leave the rest. Okay. Uh, Minnesota will pop the corn. Bill G, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All maroon uniforms for the Golden Gophers. Nebraska may forfeit. Hornet, one, two, three, four, five. Says go Utes and go Gophers. Kent State is still driving. Zach Smith picked Nebraska and Florida. Yeah, so Minnesota has it all gold out. Their stadium, people are going to be wearing their gold shirts. And, of course, the team wears all maroon. Kind of like the Penn State when they do the whiteout games, the team wears the black tops, and they normally do anyways. You want contrast between the team uniforms and what you're doing up in the bleachers. So when it was a announced that it was going to be a gold out for Minnesota, game one against Nebraska, Everybody kind of assumed that Minnesota was going to be wearing the all maroon uniforms. Weddings during the fall. Me, uh, myself, and the little general, the moderator, we had our wedding in July. And it was hot, hot, hot. We had it in the cabin out in the woods. It was hot, hot, hot. We had a bunch of uh, fans blowing. But it turned out okay. It turned out okay. That was 21, yeah, July 27th. The wife is reminding me of the exact date, July 27th. Daniel Leonard is in the house. Daniel, himalacious, connotatious, sacrilegious Leonard is in the house. And he's the fellow that's getting married. He's getting married a couple weeks from now. Grand Marais, Minnesota, yes, but it's before hunting season. So that's important. That's important. Bean is congratulating Daniel Leonard. Uh, Rick Olson, years ago, I bought a TV to my cousin's wedding and watched Oregon in a bowl game after the ceremony. Okay, well, look, we started this a little bit early uh, because... I was having a panic attack about the injury, the report injury of Cody Lindenberg, Gophers' number one defensive player. I was climbing the walls in the studio. I told the little general we had a we had to start early because I was going crazy. Talking to you all in the chat has made me feel a little better, a little better now. We are going to open up the phone lines here for a little bit before the game. Talk about any games going on tonight. What do you feel about Florida? What do you feel about Utah, the Florida-Utah game, and the Minnesota and Nebraska game? You can give us a call here. With The phone lines are now officially open. 763 260 763-260-1333. One three three three. Tony says the beautiful Huntington Bank Stadium is filling up. Is filling up. Maria says, "Hola, Lenny." And Lenny says, "Hola to Maria." Maria is going to the wedding. 
with me, of course, on her date. It's going to be a fun time. The Mighty Gators, 27 to 21. B. Bean is saying that the Gators take down Utah by six. Led by Graham Mertz. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, yeah, the game has been a sellout for quite a while at Minnesota. For the, yeah. The game's all sold out. Um, big watch party. Big watch party. You are correct, the architect. You are correct. So, uh, Kent State is la lining up for a field goal. Andrew Glass. They're down 14 and nothing. It looks like it's a 45-yarder from the right hash. The kick is up. Didn't get a whole lot of it, but it did get over the goal post. 14-3. UCF Kent State is on the board. We are 22 minutes away. 22 minutes away. Here's my here's my prediction. Twenty seven to seventeen. Now that was before the Cody Lindenberg injury, not playing. Um, I think I think Nebraska is going to come out and they're going to run their quarterback. They, they they're going to run them now early in that game to test out our linebackers to see if we can I spy them successfully. Um, they're probably going to do some crossing patterns over the middle. You don't really do that with Cody Lindenberg because when he hits you, it's uh, it's it's the injury the Gophers could not afford to have. But that's football. That's what happens when you don't have depth. And I think we're going to see the loss of Cole, Cody Lindenberg very early in this game. I think Matt Rule is going to go right at us. Right at us, right in the middle of the field with the quarterback, delay draws, quarterback rollouts, taking the ball, design running plays. Great. Did Syracuse run the 3-3-5 defense in the ball? Yes. Yes, they did. Um, but it was difficult to even really figure out how successful and confusing it was to the Golden Gophers because um, it was such bad turf. I mean, that game was the last two Gopher Bowl games. Now, the Gophers are 4-0 in bowl games under P.J. Fleck. They beat Auburn on a January 1st game. They just pushed around Georgia Tech. They pushed around West Virginia. I believe they would have pushed around Syracuse. But the field was in such bad condition that the game was just, it was very hard to watch. Uh, but yes, so the 3 3 5 defense that Nebraska is going to go at us with because they got the uh, Syracuse defensive coordinator. We got the Syracuse secondary coach. So are we going to be ready to go against it? We shall see. We shall see. UConn playing competent football. They have begun. UConn really looks good in the first drive. I do not have the game on the TV. I probably should. 24 minutes to go. Bubba Bryant says Gophers 27 to 13. I know they did. I know they did. But it was hard. It was such a sloppy game. The field was terrible. I the question was how did we how did we look against that Syracuse defense? We weren't able to run the ball, but I'm not sure. Both teams just struggle to keep their footing all game long. I'm not sure you can take that game and learn anything from it. So, um, Daniel Leonard, 
Nebraska 24, the Gophers 13. Daniel Leonard does the best Howard Cassell imitation in the country. That's a little bit of trivia for you all to know. Uh, if UConn does well this year, is Jim Mora gone? Hopefully not for UConn. Did UConn score in the first drive? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I can't even find what I'm looking for here. Yeah, Dan Leonard picking against the Gophers. Not a shocker, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Gopher fan. He's just a bitter Gopher fan. Because of the heartbreaks he has had to suffer, like all Gopher fans, for decades. So Dan Leonard, he keeps his heart closed, right? If the Gophers win by the end of the game, by the end of the evening, by the end of the day, he's happy. But when the game starts, he has his heart closed. While your host, I have my heart wide open. All the scar tissue, it's wide open to be hurt once again. So Dan Leonard, yes, he's very, very bitter. He's never going to pick the Gophers to win a game. Um, yeah, I can't find nothing. I can't find the UConn game. I should be able to on my phone. Okay, second and 13, UCF. Let's take a look here. One second. Okay, UConn's up seven to nothing. UConn is up seven to nothing. Let's take a look at the box score real quick. Joseph uh, Fagnano, 3 of 3, 26 yards. He also did some run in the quarterback. He looks like he did a little bit of everything in the first drive. 25 yards rushing. Victor Rosa, 23 yards rushing. 7 to nothing. UConn and North Carolina State now gets the football. Woo! The Wolfpack. Already down 7-0. I don't think they were expecting that. Um, goal knows Florida State. College football is back. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Interesting strategy for Dan Leonard. Tony, I hate when the Gophers, I hate when we get besmirched. Minnesota has already lost one of its paddles. Daniel says he roots for the Gophers. He's just not a believer. He does not want to open up his old, old scarred heart. That game is in Connecticut. Game is in Connecticut. Cam Rising is warming up in gear. I heard he was not playing. That's what the reports are, that he's not playing. They're going to play their backup quarterback, and their third-string quarterback is going to be coming in, change of pace. He's a running type of quarterback. Interesting. I did not expect Cam Rising to be even warming up in his gear. Hmm. 
I would love if Dan Leonard called in right now and gave us some Howard Cassell. I would love it. He is the best Howard Cassell in the country. Dan Leonard. Lenny, give us a call. 763, I should say, PATC's Howard Cassell. Give us a call. 763-260-1333. The number's on the ticker. I need PATC's Howard Cassell to give us a call at 763-260-1333 before the game begins. Give us a call. Howard Cosell. Pat McKenzie. Holy smokes. Woo! Pat McKenzie's in the house. Another gopher fan. Who's carrying the load on the ground this year? Well, I don't think anybody's going to be carrying the load, to be honest with you. Uh, Sean Tyler... The transfer from West, Western Michigan is probably going to get the most carries, at least at the start of the season. I'm guessing he's going to get about 16, 17 carries tonight. Sean Tyler, the transfer from Western Michigan, is not a guy who can carry the ball 25 to 30 times a game. At Western Michigan, he gained over 1,000 yards the last two years. He's got breakaway speed. If he gets an open space, he's the guy who can take it to the house. A very successful career at the MAC level, right, at the G5 level. When he went in the transfer portal, a lot of programs went after him. The Golden Gophers got him. Sean, Sean Tyler is the number one back. The number two back, we have no idea, Patrick. It could be five years, six years senior Bryce Williams. It could be redshirt freshman Zach Evans or it could be true freshman Darius Taylor the four-star running back from Michigan he looked great in the spring game he's looked great in August camp now PJ Fleck you know how conservative he is Patrick I'm guessing if he gets the ball, if he gets the rock tonight, he'll get it maybe three times. But Darius Taylor, number one, the uniform number one. Watch out. He's got, he's, he's got the highest ceiling of any running back we've had here since probably Lawrence Maroney. Now you say, well, what about Muhammad Ibrahim? Muhammad Ibrahim got everything out of his ability that he could possibly could a legendary running back no question about it but you're talking about ceiling like coming in when he first steps on campus it's this dude Darius Taylor number one for the Minnesota Golden Gophers are we going to see him early this game are we going to see him at all this game I don't know who's going to carry the load well, it's not going to be anybody like Muhammad Ibrahim. But Sean Ty Tyler, number two. The true freshman. Look out, baby. Look out. Minnesota's offense has a lot of change. How long to adjust? They don't have time to adjust. They have a brutal schedule. Offense is going to be different. We The Minnesota Golden Gophers have been the heaviest rushing team at all Power 5 for the last two or three years. It's not going to be that way this year. It can't be that way this year. We got a good ride receiver room, and we got a quarterback that who 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 can sling it. We got a quarterback in eighth and Kaliak Manis, who's the Greek rifle, who's got a very high ceiling, but he's a gunslinger. He's going to throw an interception tonight. There's no question about it. And Jeff Sims is probably going to throw an interception to, tonight, to be quite honest. Nebraska's quarterback, the transfer from Georgia Tech. His career at Georgia Tech, he threw 30 touchdowns and 23 interceptions. So I think we're going to see a couple of interceptions going both ways tonight. We're going to see some turnovers. B, good luck tonight, Greg. Holy smokes. Hit the like button, please. Lawrence Maroney, Normandy High School, St. Louis, 
Missouri. Who do you think is going to get the unofficial trophy? The $5 bit of broken chair, Minnesota, Nebraska. I think it's going to be Minnesota. I hope it's going to be Minnesota. I pray it's going to be Minnesota. I'm going to be devastated if it's not Minnesota. But two hours before the game tonight, devastating news. Cody Lindenberg, our best linebacker, best defensive player, is out. And that came as a shocker. Nobody knew that Cody Lindenberg was suffering an injury. And now he's out. It's probably not going to be long term. Skull Ducky, I'm glad we got RB1, Mr. Bucky Irving. Thanks. Hey, look, I'm going to be honest with you, Skull Ducky. Oregon contacted Bucky Irving before he went in the transfer portal. So when Oregon gets into the Big Ten next year, that's going to be a big no-no. So, Oregon, you got to wait till someone goes to the transfer portal before you make contact, official contact with them. So you got Bucky Irving. But when you get into the Big Ten, you have to wait, my brother. You have to wait for someone to go in the transfer portal before you start recruiting them with your high NIL dollars. You might laugh now, but wait till next year. Can't pull that stuff on inside the Big Ten. That's not how we do things. You'll, you'll learn. You will learn top three keys to Minnesota win. Uh, Cody Lindenberg needs to play. <laughs> um... Brevin Span for the tight end, Elijah Spence for the wide receiver, Daniel Jackson. All three of those cats are going to have to make big game, big plays throughout the game. I mean, this goal for offense is going to be different. It's going to be different. It's going to be different and it has to be successful right off the bat. I've got faith in eighth and Kaliak Manis. I have seen, we've all seen Gopher fans. We saw him against Wisconsin. We saw the talent. We saw him in the bowl game. The Gophers were losing to Nebraska last year, 10 and nothing at halftime. And Tanner Morgan, a quarterback, got injured. Ethan Kaliak Manis got in the game in the second half and blew the doors off Nebraska. Ethan Kaliak Manis has a very, very high ceiling, but he's a wild stallion. So, he could throw a couple to Nebraska. We'll see what happens. Rebecca Salisbury for the Gophers. Bad news. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it, Rebecca. Thank you for your continued generosity. I sang Bow Down to Washington on our last live show, which was last yesterday. I sang the song once again. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate it so very much. You sure are hyping the Huskers. Am I helping, hyping the Huskers? I think they're going to be sixes. I think they're going to make it to a bowl game the first time in seven years. High expectations for many. Sellout crowd. UConn audition, auditioning for the Big 12. Uh, let's see what that... Um, All right, seven to seven. Seven to seven. Yukon in North Carolina State. Okay, I'm shutting down the phone lines for now. PATC's Howard Cassell did not make a phone call. Hopefully, in the next here within the next month, our own PATC Howard Cassell will make his presence known. Tied game. Okay, I got to switch the channel here. I got to switch the channel. What am I doing? Got to get it on Fox. 
Good luck, Craig. Thank you. Appreciate it. Heartbreak 25. I appreciate it. Pay attention. You're right, moderator. You are correct. Now, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please smash that like button if you like our content. It helps with the algorithm of YouTube so very much. If you want to make sure your comment gets read and we do a deep dive into it, put a donation on it, hit that dollar sign in the comment section and put up your comment. Put your comments up in real time as we watch the game again. I'm probably going to be behind you when it comes to the action. Don't worry about it. Just react in real time. I don't really look at the comments until after each and every play. But most of you, if not all of you, are going to be ahead of me on the action. And that's okay. It has to do with a couple of different things. One of them is the OBS system, the decoder and the channel. What, whatever I'm doing here live gets out to you guys a little bit later, a few seconds later. Plus, I think my cable is, runs a few seconds behind most. That's just the way it is. It's really no big deal. But that's what you're going to have to get used to. Rebecca says, Minnesota needs to win this. Can't start 0-1 in conference, especially at home, and especially when you have a brutal, tough schedule that the Gophers have. And look, let's be honest. Nebraska, first game, Matt Rule, Nobody knows what to expect, but they really shouldn't be humming yet, right? There's a very good chance Nebraska is better at the end of the year than they are at the start of the year. I mean, this, his wide receiver room is pretty thin. Uh, the Gophers should win this game. The pressure is on the Gophers. It's not on Nebraska. Not in year one under Matt Rule. This is year seven under P.J. Fleck. P.J. Fleck, the Golden Gophers have won 29 games the last three full season. The Gophers are favorite, sellout crowd, Thursday night. The Gophers are used to opening up the season on Thursday night. They do it every single year. There it is. There's the gold out. There is the gold out. Minnesota Golden Gophers, Huntington Bank Stadium, a beautiful place. Heaven on earth. Utes got this one. Utah about to go down tonight. Ooh, this would be Kristen Hoskins' breakout game. Cameron Rising's playing tonight. Really? Holy smokes. Time out, everybody. Time out. I got to get that game up on my phone here. Cameron Rising is truly playing tonight. Jim Charles says Utah's about to go down. No, he's out. He's out. Okay. Good luck to the Gophers, Cyclone fan in the Twin Cities. What is this? Youth's backup got injured? Okay, I got the game on here. I got the game on on my phone. I got Florida, Utah on my phone. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't have that audio on. And I got the Gophers, Nebraska up on the big TV set above all of my computers. Let's get this thing going. Let's go. Let's go. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature 
And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough Yes, you are correct, uh, Rebecca. Florida Center is out of the game. Big, big, big blow to the Florida Gators. The fans had a meltdown, just like I had a meltdown with the injury part of the Golden Gophers. Bill G, thank you so much for the super chat, for your generosity, your continued generosity to this channel, this independent YouTube channel, Rebel Outpost. Go Gophers, go Gophers. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Got one game on what Utah on one, Minnesota on the other. Swapping the UCF in between. Hopefully, I won't miss the Brave game later on. You're doing all you can, Mr. Ryan Brooks. You're doing all you can, Ted. Fighting the line eyes in the house. Ready for some Big West football? Football. Uh, for good luck, go ahead and put seven down on your board for Minnesota. Now nah, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. It's like Christmas morning, Joe Z. They showed Ryzen warming up. Now, I'm going to keep my eye on that. I don't think he's playing, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he's playing. I got to focus here. I got to focus. I got to focus. I got to fill up my mug. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. We got to get it going, guys. We got to get it going. A lot of anxiety is starting to leave my body now. The anxiety is starting to leave. Let's go. Let's go. Right there, baby. Right there, roll the boat. Let's go. On the leg. Okay, Bob, Bubba Bryant says Nebraska wins the toss and defers. Matt Rules being in, uh, interviewed by the sidelines. Woo! Here we go. That's the way to do it, Steven. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. There it is. The sky you ma, sky you ma. Great. Need some help convincing the little woman a third TV is a must in the room. During the college football season. I know it's a hard sell. It's a hard sell, Mr. Brooks. But yes, you need a third TV for college football, especially on the Saturdays. But some Thursdays, especially this Thursday, it gets a little tricky. Let's go. Come on, special teams. Come on, special teams. Let's go. Let's go. No fumble. No fumble. Hey, that's out of bounds. Oh, geez, he's got to catch it. Bring it all the way back, sir. Ooh, you stopped for nothing. The hole was there. <sighs> Daniel Leonard, I got a 55-inch you can have. The hole was there. What happened? What happened? 
Okay, it looks like the Gators start with the ball. A game against Utah. There is the Greek rifle. Eight. Then Kaliak Manis. Okay, now Sean Tyler. Sean Tyler, number two, in the backfield. There's Nathan Ball, the center, taking over against the legendary John Michael Schmitz at center, who's now the starting center of the New York football giants. First play pass, bam, Brevin Span four. The second or the third best tight end in the country. Ethan, that's Ford. Ethan the Ford. Ethan the Ford. We should see it six, seven times tonight. We got a second and third. Now, did you see that bullet pass? You see that arm strength? That's why he's called Greek the Rifle. He's a wild stallion. Incredible high ceiling. The floor is a little bit too low for everybody's comfort here at Minnesota. We shall see how he develops. Got to run that ball. Got to run that ball. They ran that ball, but that was good defense by Nebraska. They stuffed that. That's the third and two. I'd call a rollout here. Use Ethan Kaliak Mathis, Ethan Kaliak Manis legs. Use those legs. This is tough now. This is tough because before we would just give it to Muhammad Ibrahim and he'd get that short yardage first down. We don't have Big Mo anymore. We got to figure out other ways to get first down on the ground. I don't know who's that in the backfield. It doesn't look like Sean Tyler. Third and two. They're going up top. Bam! Bam! The Crooms! The Crooms, the slot receiver, the transfer from Western Michigan. Our slot receiver last year, it was terrible. For whatever reason, we were able to get Crooms in the transfer portal and Elijah Spencer. Did you see that throw from Kaliak Manis? Did you see that throw? Tanny Morgan can't make that throw. No gopher quarterback can make that throw at that level in the last 50 to 60 years. However, there's more than being a quarterback than just having a rifle. We all know this. Ooh, that could be a holding call on the Gophers. Someone got winged there. Nebraska's getting some penetration. Nebraska's getting some penetration on those running plays. Again, again, Minnesota's offense has to be different this year. I think you got to roll out Ethan. I think you got to roll him out. Nebraska's sending guys up, up the middle. Roll them out. Roll them out. Look for look for Ford at the bottom of the bottom of the TV. No, they're not going to Ford. Oh, he dropped it. Ah! Danielle Jackson dropped it. Danielle Jackson dropped it. Florida goes three and out. How did Graham Mertz look? Ooh, that's a tough drop. That's a tough drop. Ethan threw that little bit off the back of the foot. This is tough now. This is third and eight. Third and eight. No turnover. No turnover. Just throw it deep. Stretch that defense out. Crooms is in motion. Crooms is in motion. Single back. Three wide. With Ford at the bottom of. Go. There he is. There he is. He can run it. He can run it. That's the first down. I'm going to tell you something here. Nebraska. Our interior is getting beat right now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Good evening, Greg. Thanks. Um. Utah touchdown in first play. Holy smokes. Did Barnes throw it? That the quarterback, backup quarterback, let me know in the comments section. Did Barnes throw that big bomb? Ethan Kaliak Manis. It's first and ten. There's nothing there, guys. There's nothing there. Nebraska's doing a good job up the middle. Nebraska's doing a good job up the middle. Got to give them credit. Gophers have not been able to play bully ball here like they usually do with Nebraska. I 
Again, this is a different Minnesota offense this year. This is really about the quarterback, the receivers, and the tight end. Brevin Span Ford. Second and eight. 50 yard line. Boom. Big time play by number 13. Got Crooms and back. Couple yard loss. Holy smokes. Gophers missed a block. I think that's Bullock, right? Number 13. Barnes, the quarterback. Yep, yep. Wow, Utah. Okay, again, we got a third and long. Once again, we got a third and long. Riding on the arm of Ethan and Kaliak Manis. They're coming in. They're coming in blitzing. Right down the middle. Nope, nope. They pulled out the blitz. And the throw is wide. The Gophers are going to have to punt. They got a couple first downs, but Nebraska shut down the Gophers running game. Ooh. It was there. Ford, Ford did not keep running on that play. Crawford back to punt from Australia. There we go, baby. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, Jeff Sims. Can you go 99 yards on the Minnesota Golden Gophers? That's a nice punt. That's a nice punt. Holy smokes. Great punt. Okay. Um, look, got to give Nebraska credit. They stopped the running game of Minnesota. Right away, they stopped it. Right away, they stopped it. Now, Ethan Kaliak Manis had some really good throws. No question about it. Jeff Sims time. Georgia Tech transferred from Georgia Tech through 30 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. Nebraska starts at the one-yard line. The Minnesota Golden Gophers. The Minnesota Golden Gophers starting with a couple linebackers that have played no Power 5 football snaps whatsoever. Devin Williams... A recruit out of high school, a couple years in the program. He's ready to rock and roll. But they, Brad C. League is also a linebacker. The Gophers are playing a transfer from Western Michigan. Um, so, Nebraska, Gabe Irvin is going to be their starting running back. Jeff Sims. We're going to look at Fedoni, the, the great potentially the great tight end for Nebraska. He was a basic five-star tight end coming out of high school. Everybody wanted Fedoni. But the first two years, he got injured, knee injuries. This is his first game in college football. We'll see if he can make an impact for Nebraska. Yes, I'm behind. I'm always going to be behind. We talk about that at every live show. Thank you, Richard. I'm always going to be behind. You guys are just going to put down your comments in real time and then watch my reactions. There's a couple reasons for it. Because my cable is probably behind you a little bit. But also I go through an OBS system, a decoder system that delays the broadcast of this channel to you. It's a couple, it's like five seconds, six seconds behind in real time. So what I just did right here. I did five seconds ago. You're just starting to see it. Okay. Graham Mertz, he scrambled for some yards there. Okay, here we go. Jeff Sims. He can run it. He can run it. It's a tough way to start. One yard line. First drive of the season. Nebraska. They're going to go pick on our linebackers right away. They're going to pick on our linebackers. Okay. They ran it out of there. They got a good four yards. They got a good four yards. 
Looks like Utah has an injury. Number 21, defensive player coming off the field. Second and five for Florida. Nebraska has about a second and five at their own five-yard line. I feel good about the Gophers' defensive line. They're going to be athletic. They're going to be very good this year. It's the back seven. The great Tyler Newbin, the great safety, Justin Wally, but there's a lot of other question marks. Sims back to pass. And he's running it like he's going to all day long. Good tackle by Justin Wally. Again, I asked, where were the linebackers? First down, Nebraska. Jeff Sims is going to run this a lot tonight. The Gophers have got to be ready for it. The Gophers linebackers have to make some plays tonight. Devon Williams, Ryan Seelig, Maverick Barnowski, those are your linebackers. A lot of question marks. Jack Henderson, the transfer from Southeast Louisiana, going to be your slot and your nickelback. First, oh, pre snap penalty, Nebraska. Pre-snap penalty, Nebraska. First down and 15. Got to watch the quarterback run here. Got to watch the quarterback run. No. Quarterback has it. Quarterback has it. Quarterback big run. Okay. First down, Nebraska. This is exactly what Nebraska should be doing. Some good penetration, defensive line, missed tackle, linebacker. Barnowski, number 20. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Not good. Not good. Very scary, in fact. Okay, got Ur Urban down. Oh, who was that running the ball? Number 14. That's a one yard loss. Okay, Barnowski got the tackle there, second and 11. Second and 11. There's Lindenberg, number 45. That's the monster. Devastating loss for the Gophers here, week one. Nice tackle. Got him right at the line of scrimmage. That's Devin Williams. That's the other linebacker. So, Bernowski, Williams, back-to-back -back tackles behind the line of scrimmage or behind the original line of scrimmage, third and 11. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. The young linebackers, if they can make some plays, we're going to be in good shape. Third and 11. And we got a flag. Illegal substitution on Nebraska. Some of this is to be expected. First game, new regime, new everything, right? They only have one returning assistant coach back. That was the offensive line coach. So we got a third and 16. I would not send the kitchen sink. Do not blitz. Do not go for an all-out blitz. Make Jeff Sims throw the ball downfield. No, don't go, don't, don't send the kitchen sink. There you go. There you go. Three-man rush. Three-man rush. There you go. There you go. Good tackle. No penalties. Justin Wally. Get off the field and make them punt. Joe Rossi. Joe Rossi, let's go, baby. Let's go. Now, they're going to punt it. No fumble. 
Let's get the ball back and let's figure out. Let's figure out a running game here, guys. Nebraska looked real good on that first drive against the run. Catch that ball. Catch that ball. There we go. Good run. Oh, he got nailed. He could have lost that ball, but he kept on. Okay, once again, Minnesota not with good field position. Eighth and Kaliak Manis comes back on the field. Again, we're going to have to sling it this year. We're going to have to sling it, but we've got to have some kind of running back, some kind of running game. Yeah, we got the ball back. We got the ball back. Nebraska line did not look good on that first series. Uh, neither offensive line won their first time with the ball, really. Neither offensive line won their battles. Um, so we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Just got to get a little bit of that running game going. And then eighth in Cadillac Manis, the Greek rifle can really deal it out. It looks like. I just saw Barnes, the backup quarterback of Utah, make a real good throw rolling out. Utah's up seven to nothing. They got the ball at their own 40 yard line, first and 10. Now, okay, now they got the third stringer in there, and the, he, he's a running quarterback. They just gobbled up some yards there. Florida's in trouble. Florida Gators are in trouble. It's just a matter of when the fans figure it out. And maybe they already have. Graham Mertz is not the answer in Gainesville, Florida. That's right, Tony. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Third and three for Utah. Barnes is Bubba Bryant. Barnes four for four for 108 yards. Ooh, Florida got some big time penetration. Forcing Utah to punt. Florida Gators, they're way better. In the, they're, they're expected to be way better in the trench, trenches than they were last year. If we remember at the start of last year, Florida barely had any defensive tackles on their roster. The first year that Billy Napier was head coach in the program. They filled that up with, with uh, transfers. So Florida is supposed to be much better in the trenches. But again, we questioned the quarterbacks. We questioned the wide receivers, except for um, their star receiver, uh, Ricky Persaw. First and 10. Bryce Williams. Pretty much got stuffed there. We got a second and seven. Okay, Nebraska. They're clogging up the inside run. Nebraska is clogging up the inside zone run. Come on, let's roll out the Greek rifle. Let's go. Let's go. Roll him out. Get away from that interior pressure. Okay, he just said something to Span Ford. Look for Span Ford here. Pre-snap pre, pre motion. Under the center. Under the center. Not a shotgun formation. Not a shotgun formation. Bam! The Greek rifle. Bam! The crews. I'm just glad there was no pre-snap penalty. There is a lot of... Now, this is a different offense, right? We got a different offensive coordinator. And it's going to be a throwing offense, which is very unusual for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. 
But you got to go with, with the talent that you have. And we have a very talented quarterback. It's first down and 10. Okay, let's get the ball to Tyler. Let's get a little bit of yards here on the, on the ground. We need a running game at some point, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There we got some yards, got some yards, got some yards, six yards, six yards on the ground. Okay, that, that the Nebraska 3 3 5 setup. Maybe that's giving us a little bit of confusion on our running plays. Don't know who to block on the second level. That was a good run by Sean Tyler. Hopefully, we see Darius Taylor here, number one, the true freshman. At some point in this game, we got a second and three. Tight end is... I don't know what that play was. That was a little high. That was a little high. Crooms could not come down with it and make a play with his feet. That ball was a little bit high. That could have been an interception. The Greek rifle, the wild stallion... Again, third and three. Normally, the Gophers would run the ball to Mo Ibrahim. Can't do that this year. Can't do that this year. Got to make this play somewhere. Got to get this first down. Ethan zings it to Daniel Jackson. And that is a first down for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. They are in Nebraska territory. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. It's about at the 48-yard line. Eighth and Kaliak Manis, five for seven. Okay, now this is what you do. We got to throw one deep here. We got to get Nebraska back on their heels a little bit. Got to get them back on their heels. They're crowding us. They know the slant passes are coming. Fake that and just go, boom, go over the top. Rip the cap off that defense. They're in a jumble formation. They're running it. That was a good run by Bryce Williams. Got some yards. A little bit of push now. A little bit of push. Not quite the offensive line that the Minnesota Golden Gold for fans and Big Ten people are used to. Where Minnesota bullies the other team, it's not quite what's going to happen this year. We got a second and six. Nebraska's holding up real good on in the run game. They're holding up really good in the run game. Play action. Go deep. Let's go. Right now. Play action. Go deep. Play action. And they did not go deep. Right through the hands of Span Ford. Not good execution. Not good execution. Not good. Not good. A little off, guys. A little off. Third and six. Third and six. Come on, ref. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Eighth and Kaliak Manis, the Greek rifle. Crooms once again, first down. First down, Minnesota Golden Gophers. And that's what, uh, look, I don't have to tell Terry Nord and all the other Gopher fans in the chat and Tony and Daniel Leonard. Gophers, for all the good things they've done in offense, they have not had a, a slot receiver, and now they got one. Now they got one in number four. This is why Gophers got to be a passing offense this year. Because they got the quarterback, they got the receivers, they got the great tight end. Eighth and Kaliak Manis is seven for ten. Seven of ten. It's time to go deep. Nebraska's got to go deep here. Take a shot. Stretch that defense out. Make them worry. Get them on the back of their heels. What's going on in the Florida game here? 
I lost the Florida game. What happened? Time out? What's going on? What happened? Richard, no worries, Greg. Minnesota moving the ball. How's Gophers field goal kicker? He's got a big leg. Evil Badger Jeff Olson. He's got a big leg. What happened? Was that a was that a was that a um, was that a timeout? Mertz is driving. Holy smokes! Did they call a timeout on that? North Carolina State is still struggling with UConn. Bubba Bryant says, let that old man Bryce William train roll for a while. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Terry Nord, nice to have a quarterback that doesn't stare at one receiver. Nice to have a Minnesota wide receiver room that has multiple receivers. Where is Elijah Spencer, though? Where's number 11? He's a big time. He's a big time playmaker. Where I haven't even seen him on the field. What's going on there? Ryan Matson says the Greek rifle looks good. He's looking good. Still got to gotta, gotta throw that downfield. Take a shot. Take a shot. Three points for Florida. Seven to three. Seven to three. Okay. All right. All right, Utah, let's go here. Greg the Cooler needs you guys to cover. What was the line on that game? The line was Utah minus six and a half. And I got uh, Greg the Cooler has Utah minus six and a half. Why the PATC community in your votes on our last live show yesterday had to go into overtime. After 50 votes, it was 50, 50%, 50 no, after 52 votes, it was 50%, 50%. And then the next voter voted for Florida. So the PATC community has Florida plus six and a half. The architect, Utes will cover, Greg. This is the start of you going on a heater. From your lips to God's ears. Let's, let's make it start tonight. I'm so tired of losing. Okay, I'm so tired of being wrong. I mean, even a blind gopher should be able to pick up an acorn once in a while. I should be able, if I close my eyes and just do a dart and had it pick the game, It'd be a lot more successful than using this incompetent brain of mine. So let it start tonight. Let it start tonight. NC State was minus 14 and a half. What's the score, B? Tell me what the score is of the NC State UConn game. Minnesota passing game looks really good right now. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Gold out, gold out, let's go. Of course, don't make too much noise. The offense is on the field. Everyone be quiet. You gotta you gotta take a shot in the end zone, right? Go with a deep corner. One of the deep corners of the end zone. Now that was a good running play. Good running play. Sean Tyler. That's 10 yards. That's 10 yards. Okay, maybe we're getting some movement. Maybe we're getting some interior movement. Oh, what are we doing here? We're doing a hurry up offense. Why are we doing that? Roll out. They're looking to go deep, but he was covered. He was covered. He was covered. Nebraska, very good anticipation with their safeties. They did a hurry up play after that first down play and the safeties were right on Brevin Span Fort. That was good defense. Good recognition by the Nebraska safeties out there. 
God, that could have worked. That could have worked second and three. Okay, what do you do here now? You got Nebraska a little bit back, back pedaling. Sean Tyler in the backfield. Brevin Span Ford is playing jumbo tight end. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. And we lost a whole bunch of yards. All right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Third and nine. Third and nine. Not what we wanted to see. Not good. Not good. All right. Let's not do anything stupid here. That's a fourth and two. You got to kick the field goal. You got to take the zero off the board. Got to go for a field goal. Got to go for a field goal. Take the O off the board. That was a good throw. Once again by Ethan Kaliak Manis. Defense was there. Good tackle. Let's make this special team. So far you've been good today. So far you've been good tonight. Short little kick. Put that through the uprights. Let's take the 3-0 lead. Count it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, no shutting out the Gophers tonight. No shutting out the Gophers tonight. Minnesota 3-0. Stephen McNeely wanted the Gophers to go for it. Um, yeah, you couldn't. Dragon, nice boot. 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. The UConn game is still 7-7. Seven, seven. That's interesting. No, you got to take the O off the, uh, off the, off the scoreboard. You got to take the three points. Next time, depending on what Nebraska's doing, uh, maybe next time you go for it. Let's get that three points. Let's get the kicker warmed up, lathered up. Some success there from Minnesota. Finally on the ground. Eighth and Cadillac Manis looks good. Again, this is going to come down to can Nebraska pick on the back seven, some of the back seven of the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Can they do it? Can they get Jeff Sims completing some passes? Now, Nebraska's wide receiver room, they've had some injuries. I don't even know if Marcus Washington is playing. Let me know in the comments section. Um, you know, they... Matt Rule is going to get some real good wide receivers in that program. And they got some young guys. It doesn't sound like they're going to play them at the start of the season, some freshmen. Again, this is going to take time for Matt Rule to build that program back up. But, of course, they got talent. They got high recruiting classes. They just haven't had any true development there under Scott Frost. 28-3, UCF, Utah, three and out again. Missouri starting to roll over South Dakota. Jeff Sims, 36 rushing yards. Kaliak Manis, 9 to 12, 63 yards. Crooms already has six catches for 43 yards. Florida's got the ball, and they are driving. Graham Mertz, roll out, completed pass. Tight end makes a move. Here comes the Gators. The chat room, Mertz just drops one in the bucket. 
Mertz is heating up. Florida's beating Utah man on man coverage. It's windy on that field. That's why the ball's blowing out the tee. Someone's going to have to hold it. And that's another thing. These field goals, they're not gimmies. It's pretty windy down there on the field. All reports. Eighth and Cadillac Manis has looked real good. Now, they haven't taken the shot down the field yet. And he's got an arm. He can throw it. Unbelievable strong arm. But they have not taken that shot yet. They tried to on that one rollout. But the Nebraska safeties made, they recognized what was going on. Okay, now, big time coverage here. There you go. Beautiful. Wrap them up. Nebraska starts at the 17-yard line. Matt Rule said this week he does not want his kickoff team um, making fair catch. You know, in college football, the kickoff team, if you make a fair catch, if you signal it, catch it, you get the ball at the 25. Matt Rule says he does not want his kickoff team to make any fair catches. Catch the ball, run it. He talked about how this is a game. Play the game how it was designed. So that's what Nebraska's doing. Now it cost them. They haven't done very good on their returns so far. They cost some yards on that play. But we should see how... Uh, it goes for Nebraska special teams. How did Florida do? Florida's in the red zone. Joel McNeil, Nebraska six plays, 42 yards. Minnesota 21 for 95 yards. But Nebraska held Minnesota to three points. So I think Nebraska fans have to be pretty happy with what they've seen. Uh... Again, it's all going to be about can Jeff Sims and the wide receivers, can they pick on the back seven of Minnesota? And they've had some plays. They've had some successful plays. I want to thank you all for coming in, watch party, college football. This is what we do. We're going to be coming on tomorrow night. We're going to be coming on all day Saturday. We're going to start with the Colorado TC watch party. We're going to be doing an aftermath show. We're going to be talking about all the games, taking phone calls, taking your comments. We're going to be on a lot during Saturday. So if you're sitting there watching college football, take a look at our YouTube channel and let's chop it up. Just you and I talk about college football and what is going on. Is Mertz going to be SEC MVP? Come on. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, we we um I think UCF's defense is gonna be a menace. Maybe their offense too. Now Plummer's gonna have to prove it to me with his arm, not with just very good athlete. Um but their defense is legit. The linebackers, Johnson, they're all just... UCF's defense is legit. They might be the big best Big 12 defense in the first year in the Big 12. Right? Maybe. Possibly. Um, time of possession. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. Okay. Keep everything in front of you. Keep everything in front of you. Let Nebraska have to go 87, um, 87 yards on you or 83 yards on you. 82 yards on you. Keep everything in front of you. Uh-oh. 
He almost broke that. Great run by Jeff Sims, the quarterback. 12 yards, first down, Nebraska. Now, Minnesota's used to this. Nebraska, under Scott Frost, they would have 10 to 12 design plays for the quarterback. This is what Jeff Sims did so good at Georgia Tech. So none of this comes as a surprise. But the Gophers have got to do a better job as containing that quarterback. First down and 10. You got to hit that quarterback. If he's going to run that design play like that, and if he's going to get six yards, you got to make him feel it a little bit. You got to make him feel it. Now, he's, he's getting all lathered up, Jeff Sims. Second and four. Tell you what, the Gophers' young linebackers are getting a workout at going against Jeff Sims and him running the ball. They got to recognize this. They got to eye spy him. And they got to get him. That was good. Really good defense. Number six. Tie it in. Baranowski. Great play. Number 20. That was good play. Third and four now. Third and four. Let's see if somebody else can beat you, Gophers, besides Jeff Sims. Keep an eye on him. Make somebody else beat you on this first down. Third and four. Get out the field. Gophers are great at getting out the field on third down for the last couple of years. Play action. Ooh, that's a good play. That's a good play. First down. Harburg, their backup quarterback, or their third string quarterback. That was a real good play. Good design play. First down, Nebraska, their own 47 yard line. They're calling a timeout. Are they calling a timeout? They called the a timeout. Nebraska to call the timeout. Seven to three, Utah over Florida. Florida missed the field goal. Ooh. He pushed it right. He pushed it right. Florida missed a chip shot. 7-3 Utah, 3-0 here in Minnesota. Nebraska's got a couple first downs. Once again, they have the ball at their own 47-yard line. Mertz did fumble it out of bounds, but got the first down. But they did not get the first down. They committed a, a false start on fourth and one, and they missed the chip shot. Utah got a couple yards on the first down running play. Uh, Nate Johnson in, is in for Utah. He is the, uh, he'll keep it and run it. He's their dynamic running quarterback, third stringer. First down, Utes.
Yeah, Utah's starting to run that ball with Johnson in there. Utah's going smash mouth. It stings a little bit when you miss that chip shot for Florida. Now Utah's coming back down, smash them in the mouth. First and 10 at their own 45, 46. Like a one yard gain. Okay, Gophers, we got to make a stop here. Nebraska's coming. They have found something. Quarterback running that ball like we expected. They've had some really good design plays, Nebraska. Oh, jeez. Incomplete. But when you get there, when you get to Jeff Sims, you got to get him. Trev Jones with the coverage transfer cornerback. He's one of those question marks. We need those guys to make some plays. But when you're there, man, at some point you got to hit Jeff Sims. He's so elusive. Nebraska's old line, they've gotten beat a few times here, but Minnesota cannot make them pay because of Jeff Sims. He's going to run it. Okay. All right. At least you hit him. At least you hit him. Big third down now. Big third down. I spy Jeff Sims. Don't make Jeff Sims get the first down with his legs. So in other words, if you got him in your sight, don't go full barrel at him. Okay. Don't go full barrel at him. Don't let him just deke you with a step and then take off. Don't let Jeff Sims beat you with his legs right here on this play. Let him beat you with his arm. Third and six. I would not blitz. I would not blitz. Don't blitz those guys. There you go. Four-man rush. Tyler Newbin, interception. Tyler Newbin, interception. He's going to be your all-American safety this year. Tyler Newbin, Jeff Sims, 30 touchdown passes, 23 interceptions at Georgia Tech. That was his 24th. They got pressure on him, just sending four guys, no blitzes. Let Jeff Sims beat you with his arm. You don't have to send. You do not have to blitz. Just play your normal defense and let him beat you. If he beats you with his arm, then you got to tip your cap off because you can't just go and send everybody at him. All he has to do is run, go all the way down the field. Minnesota got the ball intercepted. Newbin, baby. Tyler Newbin from the great state of Illinois. Woo! Okay. All right. Now. Look, P.J. Fleck, it's time. It's time. Play action pass. Go on top. Go over the top with Daniel Jackson, number nine, or down the middle of the field to Brevin Span Ford, number 88. Daniel Jackson on a post or Brevin Span Ford down the middle of the field. Now, do it now, right after the turnover. Play action path, pass, eighth and Cadillac Manus. Before the game started, we said Jeff Sims and eighth and Cadillac Manus were both going to throw an interception. Okay? Jeff Sims has got his thrown. I'm sorry to say to the Gopher fans, Cadillac Manus probably has an interception within him today. It's time to let the Greek rifle throw the ball downfield. Nebraska's just too get them backpedaling here. You might get a, you might get an interception. You might get an interference call. It's probably going to be an incompletion. But get it downfield. 9 to 12 for 63 yards. Come on now. Let's 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 use the rifle that God gave 
Eighth and Kaliak Manis, the strong arm, and let's kick it downfield. All right? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, first and 10. Utah's got the ball. Florida's 29 yard line. Option. Quarterback keeps it. Uh, so, what's going on with Barnes? Is Barnes, did he get injured? What, what's going on with Utah's backup quarterback? They got the third string in there. What's going on here? Tell me in the chat what is going on with the Utah's quarterback uh, situation. Barnes is okay. They're just throwing Johnson in there. Okay. All right. Okay. Just the changeup. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Touchdown, Utah. Okay, Ethan, let's go. Ooh, Sean Tyler. He hit that Nebraska defender hard. That looked like Mo Ibrahim. No, I'm sorry. That was Bryce Williams. Okay, Bryce Williams. Got some yards. First down running play. Quarterback run. Utah's tough. Utah's tough. Okay. Two-time defending, reigning, undisputed Pac-12 champion Utah Utes. Second and six. Eighth and Kaliak Manis. Second and six. God, there's... Okay, we got a penalty here. We got a penalty. Oh, it's on. It's on Nebraska. They try to get us off sides with the clap. Okay. All right. So we got a third and one. Second and one. I'm sorry. Second and one. Second and one. Okay. Second and one. Now do it. Now do it. Play action pass. Deep over center of the field to our tight end. Or go... Skinny post, Daniel Jackson on top, on the right side. Short side of the field. Short side of the field, Daniel Jackson, or up the seam, Brevin Sport. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Second and one. Ah. Quarterback takes it first down. I do not like the call. Got it first down, but I don't like the call. Got to get Nebraska's. That was a good keeper, Ethan. That was a good keeper. But you got to gotta rip the cap off that defense now. Let's go. There it is. I like it. I like it. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Good coverage. That's okay. That, they took the shot. Give Nebraska something to think about. That was an easy throw by Ethan. The ball just flies out there. Good, good play call. Elijah Spencer, top of the screen, number 11. Look for Elijah Spencer, number 11. Second and 10. Ah, don't like it. Don't like it. Third and nine. Third and nine. Now you got to roll out, Ethan. Got to roll him out. Give him an opportunity. Give him an option. Run or pass. Get away from that middle pressure that Nebraska's sending. Time to roll out, Ethan. Roll him out. There you go, Elijah Spencer on a rollout. Of course, that was a forced rollout. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say something. Gopher fans know this. God loved Tanner Morgan. 
our leader, five, six years, but he could not make that play. He would have been sacked or he would have thrown it away. But Ethan Kaliak Manis is the first quarterback we've had at Minnesota. And I'm 55 years old, and there's nobody we've had that has had that type of skill level. Is he going to become a great quarterback? We'll find out. We'll watch his growth. But skill level? Get rid of it. Okay, he threw it out. Now, normally, last year, he might have thrown an interception there. But he avoided that rush. Okay, Minnesota now. Uh, second and 10. Nebraska's starting to send people. Do we have a screen pass in our offense? We tried a little one with Brevin Span Ford. It did not work. We got a second and 10. They're going to run it on second and 10 again like they did last time. We got nothing. Yep. Yep. And they got a couple yards. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Third and eight. Let the, let the young kid rip. Let the young kid rip. Nebraska's sending a lot of guys to get that penetration. They're not just sending four guys here. Third and eight. Roll the young man out again. Maybe a quick slant pass. Okay, just a three-man rush. Just a three-man rush. Found Daniel Jackson. First down, Gophers. Great play. Okay, Nebraska held back on that. They held back on that. Ethan Kaliak Manis had time. First down. Now, I got to make Nebraska pay here. Oh, geez, that was tipped. Ooh, going to Brockington over there. Second and 10. Keep throwing it. Keep throwing it. Keep throwing it. Let the quarterback, yet the young quarterback, get in the rhythm here. Don't run it on second and 10 for the third time in a row. Do not do that. Throw that ball. Throw that ball. Got to sling it here. Second and 10. 429 here in the second quarter. Let it rip, young man. Matt Simon, you're calling the plays. Yet the young man, let the young man sling it. Good Lord. So that's the third, second, and ten in a row on this drive that we ran the ball. I don't like it, man. I do not like it. I do not like it. Third and nine. If you don't make it here, you're going to have to punt the ball. Don't go for it. Let Nebraska's offense go down the length of the field. Good blocking up front. Great blocking up front. Good coverage. Now you got to punt that ball. I do not like that play call in there. Got hit a little early. That's good defense. <laughs> Terry Nord. Second and 10 play call on his Ernie Sampezi. All over again. What are we doing? What are we doing? 54 yard field goal in this win? Keep Nebraska back. Terrible play call. Terrible. Missed it. Offer turnover. You run the ball three consecutive times in second and ten. 
and you try 54 yard field goal it's windy out there i don't care if the wind's at your back let nebraska drive the field at the end of the first half what are you doing no you don't go for points there 54 yarder let nebraska go the length of the field three four minutes left to go on the half terrible terrible come on guys let's go let's go you can't give up that field position late in the half when nebraska cannot get go the length of the field terrible terrible Mertz is running for his life. He got sacked. 14 to 3, Utah. Now, Utah's a very good team and every, everything, but Florida, you got a long year ahead of you. That's all I'm going to say. Long year ahead of you. Uh, yeah. Not good, ladies and gentlemen. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. I don't feel good about this. I don't feel good about what's about just going to happen here at the end of the first half. 3 nothing Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota's had the advantage. It just got a turnover. Um, and they just gave Nebraska basically a turnover. Gave them great field position. Just terrible. Got to keep rolling. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got to forget about it. No faith in the defense. Yeah, I have faith in the defense. I have more faith in the defense. When Nebraska has the ball inside their 20, own 20-yard 20 line, let them drive the field. Shut them down. One, two, three. Get the ball back. But now we've given them great field position. And if they can't do anything with it, they're going to punt it, and we're not going to be able to score at the end of the half. And, by the way, Nebraska starts the ball at the start of the second half. Terrible decision. What are the chances of making a 54-yard field goal with strong winds? Even if the wind's at your back. It's not like our kicker has proven that he can make over 50-yard field goals. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, Tyler Newbin, got to make up for your coach's mistakes. That was a big run by Irvin. That was a big run. They're already at the 50-yard line, just like that, three minutes ago. Uh, he was down. He was down. Mark him back at the 44. He was down. Three minutes to go in the second quarter. Gophers have a 3-0 lead. A low scoring game. Nebraska has some success on the ground. Nothing in the air. Devin Eston. Big 91. It's second and two. Let's go, Matt Rule. Come on, the guy was down. Let's go here. Let's go.
You got bottled up. Not quite a first down. We got a third, third and a third and one maybe. 244, 243, 242 left in the half. Man, I can't believe we gave Nebraska this field position. Let's go, defense. Rise up. Rise up. Jeff Sims gets first down at the 50-yard line two minutes ago in the, in the first half, second quarter. He catch that? Was that a catch? Ooh. Was that a catch? Yeah, he got it. He got it. Good catch. He got it. Got to give it to the young man. Second and two. Second and three. Can't believe, can't believe, can't believe, can't believe, can't believe. We gave... Can't believe we gave them that field position. Utah's got the ball 14 to 3, three minutes to go. And they've got it on floor. Ooh, trick play. Oh! They just missed the touchdown. Holy cow. Yeah, that was a catch. I don't think that was a first down, though. But it was a catch by Nebraska. Utah just missed getting a touchdown. A big completion on a trick play. Okay, at halftime, at halftime, I'm going to leave this set the way it is. I'm going to take a little break, and I'll be back. I hope you all join us for the second half of the Minnesota Golden Gophers and Nebraska, and we're going to continue to keep our eye on Utah and Florida. I want to thank you all for joining us. Watch party. We're going to be doing a lot of these, having fun, putting down your real-time reaction at the games that we watch. It is third down, Utah. Third and ten. Oh, he got hit. Drop pass. Drop pass. I'm not sure what Utah is going to do on fourth down there. Okay. Nebraska, I think, is going to have a second and short. About a minute and 40 to go. They're in good position to score some points. Very questionable play calling from Minnesota. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Going for that long field goal. Ah, Utah made the field goal. Utah made the field goal. Second and three. I don't know what you got. I don't know. Uh, a minute and 18 left to go. Second quarter. Sims going to run it. Ooh, he got hit. He got hit. First down. 
That's their best offensive play. Jeff Simmons just keeping the ball and running it. Good completion. Nebraska at the 20 yard line in Minnesota. Fifty seconds ago, they still got two timeouts left. Oh, almost picked off. Almost picked off by Justin Wally. That would have been one heck of an interception if he could have pulled that off. Second and ten. Oh. Forty-four seconds to go in the second quarter. Watch Jeff Sims run this ball. Jeff Sims or Irvin. Pre-snap penalty. Oh, they called a timeout. They called a timeout. I'm sorry. They called a timeout. Second and 10. 44 seconds to go. Get there, get there, get there. Ah! Good play by Sims. That's their offense. Jeff Sims speed against the Gophers back seven. He didn't quite get first down, but he got awfully close. Third and one. 39 passing yards, 81 rushing yards for Jeff Sims. Oh, this is tough. First down, Nebraska at the Minnesota four-yard line. Here comes the Cornhuskers. They're trying to finish this drive off. First and goal. Going to try to take the lead going in the half. Boom. Oh, he's in. Unless his knee got down. Okay, they're at the one-yard line, second and goal. Nebraska still has one first down. They're going to quarterback sneak it, and that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown, but there's a flag on the field. Looks like it's illegal motion. They didn't get set. Illegal motion. Eight seconds to go. Nebraska's one timeout. So if they throw the ball here, they'll have two plays. UCF is leading 35 to 3. Holy smokes. What do you do here if you're Nebraska? What play do you call? Eight 
Eight seconds to go, second and goal. Fans trying to make some noise in Huntington Bank Stadium. I don't know what's going on here. Let's make a play here. An official review of what? What are we reviewing? What are we reviewing here? Well, you can't see his knees. Think. Didn't they already have a play? I don't quite, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? He, that might have been a touchdown. Oh, his hips got down pretty soon. I don't, I don't, what, what, wasn't there a penalty? Wasn't there already a play called? What are we doing here? I guess it's a possible Nebraska touchdown. I mean, he could be in. It's hard to tell, really. It really is hard to tell. I'm not sure what's going on. I thought they had run a play already. Now where is the ball here? Yeah, so you can review a play after a play, a penalty. So, I don't know. I don't quite get it. Anyways, second and goal, five-yard line. Interception, Minnesota. Uh, where was he throwing that ball? Ah, <laughs> uh, why was he throwing the football? He should never. Yeah, he he. That was just man. That was terrible. He didn't know where he was throwing that football. I guess number two made a great play on that. I mean, let's, that's uh, Jones. That's our, our transfer cornerback. Matt Rule's given Jeff Sims the, okay, let's get out of here. Uh, I don't know what to say, guys. Um, yes, Jim, you're correct. Mm, I don't know. That was, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's the half. <laughs> uh, Terry Nord makes Sims have to throw. Of course, of course. He's, I mean, he couldn't throw it at Georgia Tech. He's not going to be able to throw it in Big Ten play. Again, very, look, overall disappointing that the Gophers are only up 3 nothing. Very disappointing. Throw the ball downfield, Fleck. Stretch that defense out. Let's go. You're not the running team you were last year. Man, oh man. Last few plays. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, Fleck made a horrible bundle of plays. 
And then Matt Rule, that, that should not have been a, you had eight seconds, you had one timeout left. Just let Jeff Sims run, have him roll out, give him an option, make him throw toward the sidelines, incomplete, kick the field goal, or have him run it in. If he doesn't make it, you hit that timeout quick and kick the field goal. I don't understand what's going on here. That challenge cost Nebraska. Oh, it cost them a timeout. So they didn't have any timeouts. Is that true? Ah, 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 ah. My bad. My bad. Thanks, Rick. My bad. Um, my bad. Okay, let me, uh, let's take a break here. I'll be back. Three nothing Gophers. Nebraska starts with the ball at the start of the second half. We got a Big Ten West game. Three nothing, but my goodness. Let Ethan Kaliak Manis throw the ball downfield. No timeout. That was my bad. You guys are correct. You guys are correct. Thanks for. I'll be back in a little bit. Talk among yourselves, but please come back. Do not leave us. Three nothing, Minnesota Golden Gophers.
Okay, let's go. UCF 42 to 3. They're sending a message. They're sending a message. Really enjoying Thursday Night Football. I have multiple view YouTube TV watching four games at the same time. I would think the heater would take Buffalo in the points as not confident in the air raid transformation. Um, I don't know. There was a lot better games, Jeff, I thought. Um, let's watch. Let's watch Wisconsin. Let's just see what happens first game. Um, let's just see how it works. Mordecai with that new Phil Longo, the offensive coordinator. Let's just see what Wisconsin does here the first game. There is the Fox uh, panel. I wonder what they're saying. Three nothing game. They're talking about Utah and Florida. Joe says acceler accelerated clock seem to be working as planned. Half times reach. Yeah, you're right. You're correct. You are correct. That's a very good point. Um, I'm just going to check out to see. Um. We do have a little bit of news tonight in regards to realignment. Uh, the UNC North Carolina board chair is opposing ACC expansion. The strong majority of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill Board of Trustees oppose the proposal expansion of the, of the Atlantic Coast Conference to include Stanford University, University of California, Berkeley, and Southern Methodist University. Although we respect the academic excellence and athletic programs of those institutions, the travel distances for a routine in-conference competitive play are too great for this arrangement to make sense for our student athletes, coaches, alumni, and fans. Furthermore, the economics of this newly imagined transcontinental conference do not sufficiently address the income disparity the ACC members face. Without ironclad assurances that the proposed expansion serves the interest of UNC Chapel Hill, we believe it should be voted down. Wow! The University of North Carolina Chapel Hill board, the chairman of the board, the vast majority of the board, basically is saying this does nothing for us. It does not help the deep gap between, the large gap between ACC in the money they make versus the Big Ten and the SEC. And of course, that's what North Carolina is looking at. And if North Carolina is a no, then North Carolina State is a no, and Florida State's going to be a no, and Clemson's going to be a no. They're not going to have the votes. So it looks like, it looks like, the ACC will not expand. 17 to 14, North Carolina State. Touchdown, UConn. Thank you, Kev. Kenneth Evans. Appreciate it. Nebraska throws that killer pick before the half. Big errors. Now, we talked about um, before the game started. We thought Jeff Sims was going to throw in interceptions. Kaliak Manis would throw in interceptions. 
The Greek rifle has not thrown one yet, and Jeff Sims has thrown two. But Jeff Sims finds success in the running game. Again, P.J. Fleck, Minnesota. Do not try to kick a long field goal again. Have the Nebraska try to go the length of the field on you. Because I don't think they can. Unless Jeff Sims breaks a 70-yard run, I don't think Nebraska can go the whole length of the field. I think that was a big mistake by P.J. Fleck. Again, Joe Rossi's defense. Hardly ever in the wrong place. Always recognizing recognition. Being on their keys. Out the Joe Rossi defense, that's what they do. Minnesota was ninth in the country last year in defense. The year before, they were number third in the country. And they're legit. Now, the back seven, though, they're young. They've got a bunch of guys. Some linebackers are making some tackles. Jeff Sims is getting a little bit loose. It's hard to tell because... Nebraska's passing game isn't going to challenge Minnesota the way the other teams are, especially in North Carolina, Chapel Hill with Drake May. Nebraska doesn't have the wide receiver room. We talked about that before the game. They're going to get one. Under Matt Rule, Nebraska is going to get a wide receiver room that's legit, that's going to make plays, and Nebraska's going to be winning some Big Ten games in the near, near future. But they don't have it right now. And Jeff Sims, we talked about it when it was official. We did, we're did. we not We're not a Jeff Sims believers. We're not just saying that tonight. We've been saying that all offseason. But he is making some plays with his legs like we all expected. Just got to keep him from breaking that 50-yard touchdown run. That's what the Gophers have to do. Big news tonight. Big news. North Carolina. The board chair basically saying North Carolina is a no vote and gave the reasons why. And if North Carolina is a no, North Carolina State remains a no. And if the two Carolina schools are no, Florida State and Clemson are going to be no's. So there is no expansion happening. It looks like it. T-Duck, look, Oregon State president, the athletic director, they want to rebuild the pack. The pack for Oregon State, Washington State, can they rebuild it with Cal California Stanford? Can, can they actually be successful in poaching four of the AAC schools, like a Rice, like a Tulane? like a University of South Florida and one other school. Can they get that done? Can they go from four to eight schools, be a conference, and then potentially expand with other Mountain West schools the next year? I don't know. I mean, what kind of media deal are they going to get? AAC already has a media deal. Mountain West already has a media deal. That's a that would be a very risky move for Tulane to say, okay, all right, we'll go into this new PAC conference. Are they going to be considered an Autonomy 5 conference? How could they? How could they be considered an Autonomy 5 conference? What is in it for Tulane to move at this time? Can't poach anything without an immediate deal. They missed the call on the replay in Nebraska. Running back should have been given a TD. He could have been given a TD. It was hard to see. You know, they did not have one angle that showed the hip and the elbow. I understand why Nebraska fans believe that could have been a touchdown. No question about it. No question about it.
Okay, Nebraska starts the ball in the second half. Matt Rule has made it perfectly obvious that they're going to return pretty much every single kickoff unless it lands in the end zone. We'll see how that works. Boy, that UConn, whoo, man, they're really, um, they're really giving it to, uh, let's see here. North Carolina State, 17, UConn, 14, a minute and 54 left to go in the third quarter. Brennan Armstrong's 15 of 21. They should have enough juice to close that game out. Okay, here we go. Kick it out of the end zone. Kick it out of the end zone. No big special teams play here. No big special teams play. Tackle him. Tackle him. God dang it, he's gone. All the way back to the 34-yard line. Holy smokes. The Gophers special teams. Ugh, in the heart again. In the heart again. I'm rattled. I am absolutely rattled after that play. First and 10, Minnesota's defense once again backed up. Once again, for the second possession in a row, Nebraska has fabulous field position. God. Ugh. Okay, they stuffed that. They stuffed that. They stuffed that. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. Second and nine. Special teams, man. Once again, big defense. Big defensive line. Legit defensive line, as you can see in this game. Big Devin Esther, number, Esther, number 91. Second and nine now. Don't let Jeff Sims' legs beat you. Have somebody else beat you. Second and nine. Pitch. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, I don't like this. He dropped it. He dropped it. He dropped it. <sighs> Beautiful play call. Trick play. Touchdown, Nebraska. I think Jeff Sims could have run it in. Back seven, completely fooled on that play. Whoops. Touchdown! Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, this, this is not, mm, 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 mm. this is not, um, I mean, they didn't even execute the play correctly and they got the touchdown. Good play call. Yes, it was. Good play call. They took a shot. They got in position. 
Great special teams play. Once again, the Gophers special teams <sighs> missed miss long field goal, which was a bad call. Big time run back on him. Okay, Gophers settle down. Settle down. You're the better team, right? You're the better team. You got the much better quarterback. You got the tools to work with. Let's take some shots downfield. Let's go. Let's loosen it up. Let's loosen it up. Chick plays Nebraska one. Golden go for zero. He isn't a. He's a 67th ranked quarterback. Two four seven sports. He's a lot better quarterback. And you know this, Eisen fifty seven. Got to let him loose. Got to let the take the training wheels off. Let's go. Let's go. Keep rolling the boat. Down 7-3. Keep rolling the boat. Man, oh man. And of course, you know, we talked about it. So much inexperience in that back seven for the Gophers. Nebraska made a good play call. You're not going to probably beat Minnesota at the line of scrimmage. But when you get out and doing those trick plays and making the back seven move around, now you got us on the ropes. And of course, Nebraska's last two possessions, where did they start their, their drives? We're gifting that offense. We're gifting that offense. Let's go now. Let's go, Gophers. Let's go. Let's go. Getting nervous. I was nervous at 3 o'clock this afternoon. All right, we're okay. We're okay. This is where we row the boat. Ha. <sighs> Gophers special teams getting run out the court once again. And yet Rob Wagner never has to worry about losing his job. A special teams coach. Okay, here we go. First and 10. Let's go. Let's go. Throw that ball. Throw that ball. That was a good tackle by number 11. He came down on that line of scrimmage. Tyler could have had a lot more yards there, but that number 11, he did a good job. He came down that, and he, he closed off that inside zone run. That was good defense. You got to give Nebraska credit for the run defense in this game. They actually look like they know what they're doing. Second and six. Eighth and Kaliak Manis. This is really his first bad, real bad throw of the day. Throws it in the ground. We got a third and six. Corn Huskers got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Got to be feeling pretty good. They got the lead. It's third and six. Nebraska's defense snuffed that out. Four, four and six. Minnesota has to punt the ball. I'm not quite sure. Um, I, I, I guess that uh, three, three, five. Minnesota feels like they can't take shots down the field. 
Nebraska is having everything in front of them. They're going down here on defense. Here's the Gophers special teams once again. And it looks like we have a flag. And we got a missed tackle on the punt return. Big interception for Utah. I think they're going to make Minnesota re-kick. Or five yards from the end of the... Ah, five yards. Uh, yards will be added at the end of the kick. Seven and seven to three, Nebraska... Nebraska's got to be feeling pretty good. Minnesota's offense, stagnant. Nebraska getting some plays from Jeff Sims, Elise's legs, and the trick play gives them a touchdown. Rule has Nebraska team playing hard 19, like 1990. Now can Nebraska close it out? Third and goal, North Carolina State. I tell you what, Nebraska's defense... They look athletic. They look like they know what they're doing. They're closing some plays off for Minnesota. I believe that Minnesota should still take shots downfield. But Nebraska's defense looks fast. And they are in position. And I can't remember many missed tackles either from Nebraska. I think Minnesota has to ride the arm of Kaliak Manis. And they got to get aggressive here. They can't run downfield like they did with Mo Ibrahim. Il Buck says, Rule knows how to win these kind of games. Nebby looks confident. Minnesota beating themselves. Mike Williams says the quarterbacks are awful. Touchdown, North Carolina State on a QB run. North Carolina State's up by 10 with 34 seconds to go in the third quarter. 7 to 3, Cornhuskers, and they got the football. And they got all the momentum. Can they close this out? Nebraska, under Scott Frost, would lose a lot of close games. Can they win the close games this year in the first year under Matt Rule? So far, it's a good start. Even though they don't have a quarterback who can throw the ball, they don't have a really, really good wide receiver room. They're getting the job done. Here we go. Again, great field position for Nebraska. Ah. Sack. Finally got him down, Logan Redding, from the great state of Missouri. Second down and 16. Finally, Nebraska is playing a little bit behind the chains with, with a sack. Look at that, trick play, man. Now it's second and 16. Now what do you got, Nebraska? Now what do you got? I would not blitz them. Just keep sending the four. Keep sending the four. Hit them. Hit them. 
Make that quarterback pay for running. We got a third and long. We might have an injury here. Is that go for guy down? Yeah, we hit the quarterback, yet our guy got injured. Third down and nine. Still a long ways to go in this game. 11 minutes to go, third quarter. It's imperative that the Gophers offense gets back on the field. 21-3 Utah. This is the first game that Florida has played in a true road game at the opponent's home field outside of outside of the state of Florida in 30 years. The first true road game by the Florida Gators playing against a Power 5 team outside the state of their home state of Florida the first time in 30 years. And they've yet to score a touchdown, 21-3. There's another team that has yet to score a touchdown, and it's my beloved Minnesota Golden Gophers. Barnes, QB, Ron Kirkpatrick, go Hawks. Nick Kelso. Well, I'm sure uh, the Minnesota Golden Gophers offensive coordinator, Matt Simon, doesn't have a 25-point average, a game average in this contract. I bet he's happy he doesn't because right now Minnesota is stuck on the number three. No, 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 no. P.J. Fleck is not going to be on the hot seat. No, P.J. is not on the hot seat. You don't win 29 games the last three years. The best stretch of Minnesota Golden Gold for, Gold for football since 1962-1964 and be on the hot seat. P.J. Fleck will not be on the hot seat no matter what Minnesota does this year. And again, I've got them at 6-6. Six and six. This is a transition year. There's no question about it. Um, no, he's not on the hot seat. He will not be on the hot seat. Brian Ferentz on double secret probation. Florida is going down hard. Yeah, that was a big moment. Not for just not just for Nebraska volleyball, but for women's sports, collegiate sports, and for all women's sports. Attendance, 92,003. Wow. Unbelievable. Congratulations to Nebraska. Holy smokes. And also congratulations to Big Ten women's volleyball. It is a big time sport. Okay, this is a big, big, big play. Get off the field, Gophers. Get off the field. Third and eight. Nebraska's up four. They're feeling good. They're feeling good. They're having a fun time at the stadium. Maybe Nebraska chucks it long here. Hmm? Try to get the back seven of Minnesota. Get them out another big play. Third and nine. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. They're rushing them. They might have them. And that's a big time sack by Job Joyner, the four star out of the state of Connecticut. Big time pass rusher. He finally got home. He finally got home. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I said I did not feel good. Boy, was I wrong. Job joining with a spin move. Okay, now, special teams. Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Catch the ball. Get down on the ground. Do not screw it up. Don't screw it up. Don't, don't, don't. Was that, was that roughing the punter? Was that roughing the punter? Roughing the punter.
What a nightmare. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. No, it is not about it's not about Gophers can't buy a break. It's the Gophers cannot play special teams. They can't do it. I mean, we sit here and pray that they don't make a total screw up. We're not we're not even thinking about a positive play. And yet we keep our special teams coach year after year after year. It's not a it's not about the Gophers earned that mistake. They earned it. Because that's what they do and they don't make a change at the special teams position. Why I do not know and nobody can figure it out. We are at the bottom of special teams play every single year. We have a great running game until this year. We have a great defense. Our special teams is a joke. And yet we keep the special teams coach. I, this defense, special teams has done them no favor. The play calling has done them no favor. They got beat on a botched special teams play. Third and three, another big play. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh-uh. Terrible. It isn't, it isn't that the Gophers, they always are in the bottom 10 in the nation in penalties. So it's not like they're undisciplined. It's the special teams. It's the special teams over and over and over again. There's another sack by Disco Danny Strigow. Disco Danny Strigow. Another sack. Very good defensive line. The strengths are obvious on this team. The weaknesses are obvious on this team. I tell you, Nebraska's offense, it's going to be bad this year, ladies and gentlemen. But, man, their defense, okay, I don't know what you're going to do now. Get away from that ball. Get away from the ball. Ah, jeez, I'm dying here. I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay, let's go now. Let's go. Let's make some let's make some plays. Let's go. Come on, Greek rifle. Let's go. Audible. Out about the line. Out about the line. Inside handoff. Inside handoff. Inside handoff. Inside zone run. Oh. Take it down. There you go. Ooh, man. I'm gonna tell you something. Great pass by the Greek Rifle. Good catch by Daniel Jackson. But Nebraska's right there. And they're hitting hard. They're hitting hard. And that rule's got this defense flowing. Flowing to the ball. Okay. Don't run it now. Don't run it. Tell you, the kids got skills. Let them loose. Let the Greek Rifle loose. Throw it away. Throw it away, young man. Throw it away. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Second and ten. Nothing lost. Nothing lost. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing lost. Let's go. Second and ten. Greek rifle. It's too bad I'm impressed by the Nebraska defense. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, Greek Rifle, let's go. Let's take the top off the defense one time, one time, one time, one time. No. Nah. Second down and 10, and it's a running play. 
Second down and 10, it's a running play. Second down and 10, it's a running play. Everybody in the stadium knows it's going to be a running play. Third and eight, shotgun, quick kick, quick kick, <laughs> quick kick. Oh, man. There it is. There it is. First down. Brevin Spanford used those hands, man. He used those hands. That's a first down. Let's go. Where's my first down music? And that is a penalty shot to the head. Let's go. Now we go. Now we go. Now we go. Field goal does nothing for us. Let's go all the way down the field. i like to see this penalty again. I did not see it in live motion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Throw him out of the game. Throw him out of the game. Oh, boy. Woo. That was Chop Robinson there. Get him out of the game. Ooh, ugly. Hey, Spam Ford got hit in the head. Jeez, and I was calling for a quick kick. That was a terrible call in my... I get nervous, I got to tell you. Okay, here we go. Field goal does nothing. Do you know why field goal does nothing? Because we're going to miss the field goal. We are in four down territory. It's confirmed. The course is confirmed. We are in four down territory. That's it. Let's go. We got the better team. Don't we have the better team? Don't we? Maybe we don't. Maybe Nebraska is ready to win some games this year. Got to get span forward, man. Get them more in the game. Get him downfield, middle of the field. Let's go. All right. 45-yard line. Take your shot. Take your shot. Why don't we ever take a shot? I don't get this. Is he in? Is he in? He's in! He's in! What a throw! Woo! The Greek rifle. Is he in? Please be in, baby crumbs. Please be in. Oh, he's in. He's in. First down. Gophers. We're at the, right at the red zone, I believe. First and 10. Six minutes to go. Athens Kaliak Man is 15 to 24. No, we're not quite there yet. We're at the 26 yard line. Now, do not get conservative. Do not get conservative. Let the Greek rifle wheel and deal. Now you're getting, do not do that. Now it's second and 10. If you run this ball, if you run this ball, if you run this ball, I'm going to start to cry right here in the middle of the studio. You throw this ball. Let the young man play. Let the Greek rifle play. Throw the ball. If it's going to be picked off, it's going to be picked off. Don't be conservative here. You got the wide receivers. You got the quarterback. You're not a running team anymore. Do not run this ball.
That was my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. I called that play. We talked pre-game. We said both quarterbacks were going to throw an interception. They had, I mean, they could run it again on a second and 10. Um, I mean, the Greek rifles made some great throws, but that one... Just a little bit off. <laughs> a lot of people having a lot of fun in the chat at my expense. I'm going to start crying here. Wow. Um, wow. My last thing I said before he threw that pass was, it's okay if he throws a pick. Let him learn. It's okay if he throws a pick. How stupid am I? How stupid am I? Holy smokes. Again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you love college football, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button and share the video with your family and friends. We're going to be doing a live watch party on Saturday, Colorado TCU. Later in the evening, Penn State, West Virginia. We're looking at doing one Friday night as well. We shall see. But please subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you like the content. Nebraska's got the ball first and 10 at their 11-yard line. Oh, he broke a tackle. And he's gone? Who missed that tackle for the Gophers? This doesn't look good, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, that was our that was our linebacker, Barnowski, who shouldn't who shouldn't really be playing in this game, but Cody Lindenberg is out, our best defensive player. And um, now we're in trouble. We finally had him down there. Now we are in trouble. We need Nebraska just to screw up. We need Nebraska to do what Nebraska's been doing for the last six years, but they might not do that with the new coach, Matt Rule. I have been impressed. They're limited. This Nebraska team is very limited, but I've been impressed. They made plays on defense. Good play call. Good play call by Nebraska. First down, Minnesota 49-yard line. Very impressed. Things have not gone right for my beloved... Minnesota Golden Gophers. Three minutes ago in the third quarter. First and ten. Play action. Going deep. They got him. Jeff Sims. Good throw. Nebraska 31 yard line. That was his Marcus Washington. That was his best throw of the day. That was his best throw of the day. Right there. Bam. Perfect spot. Perfect spot.
Minnesota back up against the wall. They got to keep rolling. Got to make a play. Missed tackle. Second down. Second and about 11. Devin Williams makes a good play. Couldn't quite get him down, though, but got penetration. Second and 11. Hopefully, Jeff Sims has one more mistake in his back pocket. Hopefully, he's got one more mistake. He's running it. Good tackle by Green, but he got through that line. It's a third and four, third and three. <clears throat> Could be a two down territory for Nebraska. There he goes. There he goes. 24. Oh, they got him, but that was the first down. Good tackle by Tark Watson. Good speed. But Sims almost broke that. This has been Nebraska's third quarter. They've owned it. They've owned the third quarter against Minnesota. Usually Minnesota owns the third quarter against Nebraska. But this has all been Nebraska in the second half. Gophers had some good plays on the last drive, but they threw that interception. There he goes again. Sims is running right down Minnesota's gut. And without those linebackers, without Cody Lindenberg, Coming up to the end of the third quarter, Nebraska 7, Minnesota 3. It's going to be second and short. Well, Rule has done a good job this game, tell you that. Daniel Leonard, 8 yards, getting closer to the red zone. Cornhuskers moving the change. Need a forced fumble. Needs something. Needs something to happen. Um, well deserved. No question about it. No question about it. Total yards, Nebraska. UCF, 56. Kent State, 6. Minnesota might not be good. Um, they, might, they might not be. I predicted it 6-6 six and six this year, and I got a lot of grief from my fellow Gopher fans. But this is a game I thought they were going to win. So if they lose this game, i love to see your passion, Greg. If you don't have a heart for a school, you aren't a college football fan. That is what makes this sport special. I completely agree. I was expecting more from the offense. I was too, Ryan. Um, I was too. I don't know, you know. <clears throat> yeah, they're going to have to have some sort of a running game, but they're going to be a passing team this year. They have to be. They just have to go with it. That's where the skill is at. That's where the skill is at. So they got to go with it. There was a terrible throw by Ethan Kaliak Manis. He's made some great throws today, but that was a bad one. And that's what happens.
Terry Nord, Gophers need some good grade point average for a chance at a bowl game since record will be five and seven. I have been impressed with Nebraska's um, tackling, though. I mean, even when we make a play downfield, they're there to tackle. They're in the right spots. You sh you're seeing some of that uh, recruiting speed that they recruit, right? They're high recruiting classes. You're finally seeing a little bit of that athletic ability. They're a limited team this year, but, you know, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed by Nebraska. I think Jeff Sims is going to get um, pretty beaten up this year, though. In the Big Ten, having a running quarterback. Scott Frost learned that. It took him six years. But that's basically all Nebraska can do this year. So they're going to do it. And Jeff Sims, this is going to be his last year. So... You got to do what you got to do to try to win a game at second and three. Nebraska is beaten down on the door once again. They're taking over. They're taking over. First down and goal at the Minnesota seven yard line. I would not ask Jeff Sims to throw the ball in the end zone. If I was Nebraska, I'd just pound away. Have Jeff Sims maybe play action, do an end run. Whatever. All momentum is Nebraska. P.J. Flex got to be really disappointed, though. Really disappointed in his offense. They were expecting something different tonight. Good one-handed catch. Holy smokes. Wow. Nebraska's making plays. Nebraska's making plays. Look at that. One-handed catch. Wow. That's impressive. They're making plays. Nebraska is making plays. Second and goal, 14 minutes ago in the game. It's been all Nebraska. All Nebraska here. In the second half. They've had the edge. Pretty much since the end of the first quarter, really. Nebraska's had the edge. Second and goal. They're beating down the door. Jeff Sims, quarterback draw. Quarterback draw. Nope. Penalty, pre-snap penalty. That's about the only thing Nebraska's done wrong here in their limited offense. They've had some pre-snap penalties. That's not good for an offense like this. Second and goal. Okay, can you take advantage of the break, Minnesota? Can you take advantage of the break? Incomplete, third down and goal. Big play here, big play. Can the Minnesota Golden Gophers stop him? 
Can the Gophers stop and make some noise in the stadium? Make some noise. It's jam-packed. It's jam-packed, and the Gophers have only scored three points in a jam-packed stadium. That is, that's tough. They're calling a timeout. Nebraska's calling a timeout. Terry Aloysius Nord, I miss watching the future of men's tennis. The Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz to watch the Gopher time to go for the gin. Nebraska's pass in the red zone is a gift for Gophers defense. Jim says Nebraska should just keep it on the ground. Great. Which game are we watching tomorrow? Uh, I haven't really made any final decisions on that. Um, the thing is, is I have the ACC network. I don't know how many people have the ACC network. Um, I would love to do the Miami, Ohio, Miami, Florida game. The Central Michigan, Michigan State game. Nah, I'm not interested. Uh, Louisville, Georgia Tech. That's on ESPN. But um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't made that decision yet. Um, definitely Colorado TCU Saturday at noon Eastern time. Colorado TCU. And then uh, definitely Penn State, West Virginia Saturday night. NBC, Big Ten, prime time. Louisville, sleeper team. Yeah, you know, and, and it's a game that everybody has, pretty much, ESPN. It's tough. That's a tough decision. That's a tough decision. I'm interested in Miami, Ohio, Miami, Florida game a little bit more. Uh, Tyler Van Dyke, the quarterback, he's had an injury problem with his, I think, his ring finger. Looks like he might play. Miami, Florida had such a down year last year. Mario Cristobal, second year as their head coach. In Miami, Florida, I mean, Miami, Ohio, they're a lot more interesting to watch than Central Michigan. They're kind of a spunky team. They have Brett Gabbert, the quarterback. Really good quarterback. So... I'm more interested in that game, but that is on the ACC network. Okay. That play didn't work. Uh, fourth down. They shut down Jeff Sims. Field goal time. The defense has pretty much done everything they could this game. Special teams and the offense have given the defense no breaks. And Nebraska scored a touchdown on a muffed special teams play. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. Miss it. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. Hook it. Oh, this is a true freshman. Great kicker out of high school. He made some big time kicks in the high school championship game in Nebraska. It's 10 to 3. Nebraska. There it is. Gophers are still in it. Gophers are still in it. Stephen McNeely says, plenty of time for Minnesota TD. Okay, here we go. Here is the resolve song. Let me get this up and going. Uh, I got to find where it is. Got to find where it is. Let's go. 
Let's go. Gophers down seven. This is it, baby. The Greek rifle. Gotta row the boat. When the chips are down, this is when you gather yourself. Assy team. It's time to make the big play right now. You're down 10 to 3 against the evil corn huskers. It's time to rally the troops. Don't screw it up on special teams. Okay, let's just shut this thing off. It ain't working. <laughs> It never works. Stupid song. I'm going to get it out of here. Come on, special teams. You do nothing. You're the worst special team units in the country. Feel like I'm in a rock. Yeah, and I'm going to give you guys all the special Kool-Aid in, you know, in the revival tent. Okay, let's go right now, right now, right now. Let's go. Let's go. First and ten. I don't even know what you do here. Another good play by Nebraska. Another good play by Nebraska. If you notice, when they hike the ball, only like half the players knew that they hiked the ball on offense. Half of them were sitting around there. Second and ten, we need a miracle. We need a miracle. The Minnesota offense is stagnant. Drop pass. Drop pass by Daniel Jackson, our best receiver. I'm calling for the quick kick. The last time I called for the quick kick, we made a first down on third and long. I'm calling for the quick kick again. Have Ethan Kelly Mackis go back as a punter and quick kick it. Quick kick. 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 That didn't work either. You should have quick kicked it. Fourth down. They're punting the ball. Ethan's got his hand hurt. I don't even remember Daniel Jackson ever dropping a ball before, to be honest with you. Ooh. Oh, his finger got right in that. Oh, no. Special teams, Minnesota. Special teams, Minnesota. Minnesota special teams. Dave Griffin, the Greek rifle, has a bent trigger. Minnesota offense just doesn't look good. And I got, I'm going to tell you something. I am surprised. I am surprised. Greg's play call and authority is revoked. Il Buck says a heavy dose of Sim is running right now. Kenneth Evans, fourth and third Florida U221. Stephen McNeely, you tell him, Greg. Greeks make a solid salad. Rifles, not so much. There is a really good place that me and Maria go to to get a Greek salad. Um... Oh, I forget what it's called. Mediterranean something or another. And sometimes they skimp out on the olives. But their olives are incredible. It just pops with flavor. But they only give you a couple of them in their salads. Um, Seventeen and nine. You're correct, the old donuts. 
you might have nailed this. Gophers offensive coordinator makes Brian Ferencz look competent. We don't even know who the offensive coordinator is. I think it's Matt Simon. But throughout the whole, throughout the whole offseason, it was going to be Greg Harbaugh or Matt Simon. And none of us knew who it was going to be. Matt Simon did call plays one time in a bowl game and Minnesota rolled. And Matt Simon did a great job. So basically, this is Matt Simon's first game as an offensive coordinator in Big Ten football. Maybe that's a problem because this does not look good. Don't skip the on the olives in the martinis. Buckshot kid, Greg, are you going to be on Sunday night for LSU and FSU? Absolutely yes. Yes, that is a monster of a game, and I'm all fired up. LSU Daniels, Perkins, the great linebacker, Florida State Johnny Wilson, the six foot seven receiver who's just scratching the surface, Jordan Travis, Jared Verse, the great defensive lineman, Trey Benson, the great running back, Florida State stacked, LSU stacked. Let's get it on. Let's get it on Sunday night. Let's go. We need a miracle. I don't know. We just need a miracle. That's it. That's all we need. The Minnesota Golden Gophers have been outplayed at home. Sellout crowd. Gold out. They've been outplayed. Sims back to pass. He's open. Oh. Tyler Newbin was beat. Tyler Newbin was beat. Thank goodness Sims doesn't have an arm worth nothing. Thank goodness Tyler Newbin was beat. The great Tyler Newbin. Nebraska, 151 yards on the ground. Minnesota, not even close. Minnesota Golden Gophers have been outplayed. And they haven't been outplayed by Nebraska for quite a long time. That got tipped. That got tipped. Baranowski. Good play. Third and ten. Let's go. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. Third and ten. Let's go. Man, was that a duck of a pass. Woo. Third and ten. Let's get it done now. Let's get it done. One play, one play, one play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get to the quarterback. I got a fly in here. Get to the quarterback. Get to the quarterback. Get to him. All right, get to the receiver. Aha! There we go. There we go. Now, Nebraska special team blunder. Snap over the punter's head. Make a mistake, Nebraska. Make a mistake. Let's go. Justin Wally, the great defensive back out of the state of Mississippi. He was the Mississippi High School Player of the Year three years ago. He was a freshman All-American at the University of Minnesota. Tyler Newbin, Justin Wally. We got guys who can play, but we got a lot of questions. Get away from the ball. Get away from the ball, special teams. That was the best special teams play of the day. They got away from the football. Got away from the football. The evil badger, Jeff Olson. Lots of time, Godfather Gopher. Lots of time to see what, though. Gophers have no answer. Daniel Jackson, the best receivers, dropping the ball. They can't run the ball. They can't run the ball. And you could tell that from the very first quarter. Nebraska's we weren't doing. We were, we were not able to play bully ball with Nebraska. Let's change it up. Tony says, "Change it up. How? How do we wake up? How do we wake up?" Terry Nord. When the Gophers score a touchdown late, should they go for two? No, they shouldn't. 
expectation. Big Ten West is exciting football. Bruce Harris, absolutely. <laughs> 2040-11 Utah. Uh, so I got a chance not to cover that game either with my Utah play. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Ethan needs to find Span Ford. Span Ford, Span Ford, Span Ford. Richard L., hate to say it, but Nebraska has been disciplined. I got to put this. I cannot believe it. Utah? Utah. Utah, you got to cover that now. Come on. Come on. Great. The cooler is absolutely freezing here. Don't be doing this to me. Don't be doing this to me. Somebody remind Greg he's only down seven points. Somebody remind Eisman57, Mr. Hawkeye in the chat, that the Gophers have only scored three. So seven points is a lot of points. For a team that hasn't been able to do anything since the first quarter. The team is out of sorts. Absolutely out of sorts. And I give Nebraska a lot of credit for that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Row the boat. Row the boat. Row the boat. Long drive, baby. Another long drive ahead. You getting a little tired, Cornhuskers? You getting a little tired? Find 88. Find 88. Go find him. Go find him. Go find him. There's 88. There's 88. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Momentum. Momentum. Get up to the line. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have a little bit of flow here. That 3-3-5 defense in Nebraska, giving Minnesota all kinds of fits. First down. That's a first down, Bryce Williams. Good play, good play. Let's go. Let's go. Momentum, momentum, momentum. Let's go. Tick tock, tick tock. Don't take too much time. You're in a rhythm. Let's go. Let's get up to the line. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Don't run the ball. Forget about running it. Sling it, baby. Sling it. No running the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Minnesota, second and 11. Let's make a play. Make a play. Ah. Nebraska's got it covered, guys. Nebraska's got it covered. That 3-3-5 three, three, defense... Minnesota Golden Gophers offense... Was not ready to dice that up. They were not ready for this. They do not know how to attack it. They do not know how to attack Nebraska's 335. Those slant passes, they're got their guys there. They're playing a zone. There's nothing there, ladies and gentlemen. Minnesota is all tied up. The Greek rifle takes, uses his legs to get a first down. Everything is a struggle. Everything is a struggle. That was a gutsy play by Ethan to keep that. Uh, 
Everything is a struggle, ladies and gentlemen. Disappointed with that throw. Not disappointed with the play call. Got to get it close, Ethan. That's his bread and butter. The long pass. But that was not close. He's got such a strong arm. You got to put it better than that. Good coverage once again. Yeah, you can't call that. That's not a flag. There's nothing there. Nebraska's playing clean defense. Making it tough on the Gophers. Yeah, they're confused out there. They, 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 they don't know what they're looking at. They don't know what they're seeing. Hat tip to Nebraska, to the coaching staff, to Matt Rule. Tony White, defensive coordinator. They're dialing it up. It's confusion time in Minnesota Golden Gopher country. If you don't get it here, you're going to have to punt. Yeah, this offense is, is um, there's nothing there, guys. There's nothing there. Utah, 24 to 11. Third down and nine. You got to cover, Utah. You got to cover. Nebraska's defense is having some fun out there. Minnesota can't do anything. Fourth down, Utah. Okay, they're going for the field goal, though. Utah's got to make this field goal. Got to make this field goal. Put it in, baby. That's a long field goal. Holy smokes. <laughs> he missed it. He missed it. He missed it. Now Florida's got the ball, and you know what they're going to do. It's not good. That field goal wasn't good. No, he missed it. No. No. Florida comes down and gets a touchdown and makes extra point. Florida Gators will be covering. And Flugar will be... Uh, Greg the Cooler. S Scott Stevens. I'm picking Miami to defeat Miami. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long season. Um... It was going to be a difficult one regardless of today. But, yeah, it's a transition year for the Minnesota Golden Gophers. We'll see if they somehow can get to 6-6. Six and six. Um, We'll see. Minnesota looks to be a 4-8 and eight team. What's going on with the Sun Devils?
Yeah, I don't see Nebraska screwing this up, though, like they have been doing. Let's see here. What's going on? If Florida comes down and scores a touchdown, oh, dear, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Arizona State's tied with Southern Utah at 7-7. Just keep an eye. Just keep an eye. Okay. Uh, just keep an eye on the Florida game. Justin Wally, he's had a good game. Number five, like he always does for the Golden Gophers. But Minnesota's defense is going to have to score probably to tie this game up. Okay, we got a big third down play, six minutes to go. Can Jeff Sims make another play to get first down for Nebraska? Will they put it in the air? Or will they try to get the first down on the ground? Again, thanks for y'all coming in, doing a watch party with me, Minnesota, Nebraska, 10 to 3, Nebraska. We're going to be doing a watch party Saturday for sure, Colorado TCU. And later in the evening, NBC primetime, Penn State and West Virginia join us for the watch parties. Jeff Sims back to pass. And he made the throw. Nebraska got the first down. Big play, Nebraska. As they chew the clock away, trying to just, they can win this game right here, right now. Any points wins this game for Nebraska. 14 got into a soft zone. Went down, Sims found him. Sims found him. Need a miracle, Gophers. Need a miracle at Huntington Bank Stadium. This is where you got to row the boat. There's confusion everywhere. They don't even have all the players off the field. Minnesota had to call a timeout. I think it was Minnesota. Who called timeout on that? Florida looking good. Are they going to score? I need a break, guys. I need Florida to get stopped. I need a stop by Florida. I mean, I need a stop by... I need Utah to stop Florida. And I need a Minnesota miracle. Hand off, Irvin. Fumble! Who's got it? Who's got it? I don't know. Do we have it? Who's got it? We got it! Gophers got it first! Fumble! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Bam! Justin Wally. Now we got him. Now we got him. This is Nebraska. This is Nebraska. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Defense, you've done it all once again. Joe Rossi, you've done it all once again. Just like you do every year. That's Gooseby. Gooseby, an up-and-coming safety. Let's go now. Let's make a play. Nebraska's feeling the pressure now. They know how this ends. They know how this ends. 
The Greek rifle back to pass. No, he's not passing. Ooh, what is going on? Now they put Darius Taylor in? The stud true freshman? Now they put him in? In the last drive? I mean, if he's going to get a touch, which he should have, it should have been earlier in the game. What? Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Let it let it fly. Let it fly. Go. Man, they cannot do anything. Third and seven. Maybe you get a call if the yeah they probably they probably should have threw the penalty on that but again it's such a jump ball I don't know what you do here but it's a two down he reached for it ref he reached for it ref got to get him more than that. Okay, give it to Darius Taylor. Give it to your true freshman. If you're going to play him in the game, in the last drive, when you didn't play him the whole game, what the hell? That was a terrible... You can't mark it way back there. He wasn't out. Review that. Review that. Review that. Well, you got to review that. Don't give me this. Got to review that. Now who do you got in there? You got Darius. Not, not, now Darius Taylor's not in the game. Now Bryce Williams is in the game. I don't know. I saw a head snap back. I saw a Minnesota Golden Gophers head go backwards. Was it the running back? Or was that like an offensive lineman? There's a flag. Face mask coming up against. Okay. Somebody's head got snapped. It must have been Bryce Williams. I wasn't sure if it was an offensive lineman or the running back. That's first down golfers. Ah. Ouch. Ow. Ow. Okay, first down and 10. We got two first downs. Refs, come on. What are you doing? Come on, refs. What are you doing? I mean, at least we got a game going down to the last three minutes, right? Can't ask much more than that on a Thursday night. First week one of the season, although I wish it wasn't my Minnesota Golden Gophers who have been outplayed tonight, but at least it's a close game. We're having fun. P-A-T-C, first and 10, the Greek rifle. Nebraska's been given the Minnesota Golden Gopher fits all night long.
Bad pass. Bad pass. That's a bad pass. All right, Greek rifle. Let's go. Get the next plan. Get the next plan. Get the next plan. Second and ten. There we go. That's the play. That's the play. All right. All right. 12-yard line. Finally in the red zone. Finally in the red zone. Gophers. Let's go. I gotta keep a, I gotta keep an eye on my dad. Uh in the Okay. All right, first and ten, three minutes to go. That's right, that's right, that's right. Don't give Nebraska enough time to come back at you when you tie this football game. Let's go. Let that clock run down now. It was a spectacular catch, but his feet weren't in bounds. It was a spectacular effort, but his feet were not in. Wow. And that's the guy who dropped the ball early in the game on a key play. Second down and 10. Second down to 10. Got to find a way to score. Four down territory. Got to call a timeout, I guess. Can't get the play in. Can't get the play in. Oh, it's official review. It's official review. I don't think that foot was down. Ooh. Was the toe on the ground? Wow, that's a lot closer than I thought. I don't think they can overrule it. Boy, that was close. That was close. Not quite. And he didn't have total control when he hit the ground either. All right, let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Second down. That's all right. Great attempt. Yeah, the ball's loose. It's not good. Let's go now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Got to find a way to score, Gophers. Got to find a way to score. Row the boat. Row the boat. You know what I, I? You know what I would? I would. I would run a quarterback draw right here, right now. Quarterback draw. Quarterback draw. <sighs> okay, third and ten. Third and ten. Now we're in trouble. Third and ten. Now the Gophers are in trouble. Got to keep rolling it. Next time you throw it to Span, have him in the end zone, for God's sakes. Let's take a shot in the end zone. Right here, right now. Shot in the end zone. Right here, right now. In the end zone. Come on, Greek rifle. Uh, 
Uh, um, all the time in the world, I don't know where that throw was. Where? Now they're calling a timeout. Why are you calling a timeout? Who's calling the timeout? Why are we calling the timeout? If we don't make it, we can still stop them with two timeouts. Why are we calling a timeout? Why are we calling a timeout? You need that second time out if you don't make it. Oh. Unbelievable. 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 Was that a touchdown? Was that a touchdown? Did he get in? Yes! Yes! His foot was in! His foot was in! It was in, baby! Make the extra point. Make the extra point, special teams. Make the extra point. God, please make the extra point. I can't look. I can't look. I can't look. Make the extra point. Make the extra point. I can't look. Oh, he's in, baby. He's in like Flynn. He's in like Flynn. Oh! <laughs> Kick the extra point. Mm, his foot was uh, drags in. Let's go. Let's go. Kick the extra point. Don't go for two, PJ. You animal. You animal. Don't go for two. Don't go for two. Don't go for two. I might be having a heart attack. If I'm having a heart attack, Terry, contact the moderator, Maria Hernandez Garcia, and I'll be checking in at the Maple Grove Hospital. Make it. Make it. Make it. That's squeezed in. What happened? What happened? Why is there a flag? He can't make a longer, he cannot make a longer extra point. Who is it on? Who is it on? If it's on Minnesota, we're not going to make the extra point. Yeah, who, I know there's a flag. Who? Okay, it looks, it looks like it's on Nebraska. Because if it's a longer field goal, we're not, uh, if it's a longer extra point, we're not making it. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Relax. Relax. You're fine. You're fine. Relax. I think I might have broken this. Okay. We're okay. Oh, he got nailed. The kicker got nailed. The kicker got nailed. Nick. Nick is saying go for two. Don't go for two. Don't go for two. Let, let's let's just everybody relax for a second. 
Let's everybody relax for a second, okay? Holy smokes. And of course it started by Nebraska fumble, right? It started with the Nebraska fumble. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We still have a kickoff. We still have a kickoff. We still have the special teams to contend with, with the Minnesota Golden Gophers, because Nebraska has a huge advantage. Huge advantage. Huge advantage. Nebraska has a huge advantage. Now stop him. Please stop him. Stop him. <laughs> finally, Nebraska finally starts their offense not by the 50-yard line. Finally, two minutes and 32 seconds to go. 10 to 10. It's 50-50 if the Gophers win. It's 50-50 that I stay out of the hospital tonight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go. Got to stop him here. They got an excellent field goal kicker. He's a true freshman. But he was a great field goal kicker out of high school. Okay. Stuff that up. Stuff that up. Second and nine. Second and nine. <clears throat> That's a hold. That's a hold on Jaw Joyner. They didn't call a hold on Jaw Joyner, number 17. Oh my God. I, that's the first, first play, first non-call the refs have made that I have a big, big, big gripe over. Our guy was held. Holy crap. Wow. 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 Mm-mm. Man, our guy was held. Holy smokes. <clears throat> mm -mm. Okay, got to stop him here. That's uh, illegal. Uh, that's uh, Nebraska penalty. <clears throat> yeah, that was a tough no call, but that's that's the first one that I disagreed. Rats will call the great game.
Pressure up the middle. Tyler Newman! Interception! Tyler Newman! Interception! The man from Illinois! The, the, the All-American Tyler Newman! First round draft pick. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, chat room. Jeff Sims throws another interception. His third of the evening. Uh, off his back foot. Ooh, that is terrible. Okay. That is just a terrible throw. Now. Now make him pay. Now make, we got to make a field goal, though, ladies and gentlemen. We got to get down there. Okay. Okay. Nickel and dime. 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 54 seconds. One time out. <clears throat> I'm almost down for the count, ladies and gentlemen. 54 seconds left. Second and one. Do you run it here? Do you make sure you get the first down? You might run it here, ladies and gentlemen. You might run the ball to Bryce Williams. Do you run it here? No, you don't. Nickel and dime. Nickel and dime. <clears throat> Daniel Jackson. Daniel Jackson. Ethan Kaliak Manis. The Greek rifle. The Greek rifle. I gotta I gotta I gotta make sure my dad's okay. Yeah, he's in bed. Okay, alright, alright, okay. 50 seconds to go. Still not in field goal territory. Still not in field goal territory. Okay. All right, we're finding something over here. <clears throat> we're finding something on the short side of the field. We're finding something on the short side of the field. Hey, they got a late, oh, well, let's go here. They're doing, they're, and that's an extremely late change on the defense there. <clears throat> okay, third down. Third down and eight. We need to make one more play to kick a field goal. We need to make one more play downfield. And we got a penalty. <clears throat> we got a penalty. We got a penalty. Looks like this game's going in overtime. God, we got 175 people watching a watch party. Unbelievable. Third down and eight, 20 seconds, seven, seven seconds to go. If you're new to the channel, please, please subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Share the video with your family and friends. We're going to be doing a watch party Saturday. TCU, Colorado, and then West Virginia, Penn State later on Saturday night, NBC. Holy smokes. It was a running play, and it worked. Deshaun Tyler. Call the timeout. Three seconds. Call the timeout at three or five. And now we go for the field goal. Now we go for the field goal to win the game. Minnesota Golden Gophers, Nebraska Cornhuskers. I cannot look. I cannot look. And no, I'm not going to put the 13 up on the board. The field goal kicker has missed the field goal. Almost missed the extra point. His confidence is shot. My confidence in him is shot. All the Golden Gophers' confidence in the special teams is shot over the years of pain and heartbreak. The special teams of the Minnesota Golden Gophers have been in down at the bottom of the Big Ten 
for as long as I can remember. But all that pain goes away. All that pain goes away if the Minnesota Golden Gophers win this game right here, right now with the field goal. It's a 38, 39, 46 yards. Why is it 46 yards away? It's not 46 yards away. Isn't it like a 36 yarder? Yeah. Oh, it is a 46 yarder. <clears throat> Here we go. Nebraska calls a timeout. Nebraska calls a timeout. Nebraska calls a timeout. I, I thought that was at the 21 yard line. Yeah, 46 yarder. This is tough, man. The kicker has not looked good tonight. Let's be honest. There's a lot of wind down there. He almost missed the extra point. He almost missed the extra point to tie the game. If he misses, this game goes to overtime. I would give the Gophers about a 55% chance of winning in overtime. Just because <clears throat> they have a little bit more. They have a little, little bit more. A little bit more. Gophers have a little bit more options. Let's say, put it that way. The snap, the kick. It's good! It's good! The Minnesota Golden Gophers! The Minnesota Golden Gophers 13! Nebraska 10! It happened again! Roll the boat! Roll the boat! If things are going bad, you all make sure you're rolling in the same direction. The Minnesota Golden Gophers outplayed all the way from the end of the first quarter all the way to the end of the bleeping game. They still win. They still beat Nebraska. And let me tell you something about Nebraska. Better times are ahead. They have a very limited team. Extremely limited team. And they tackled, they blocked, they pushed. They beat the Gophers in so many different ways. We talked about it in the offseason. Jeff Sims was the wrong quarterback for Nebraska to take. I disagreed with Matt Rule on that. But everything else lines up good for Matt Rule. Everything else, baby. They tackled. They tackled. They tackled. They tackled. Craig needs a, a yeah, look, this might be my last night doing the show. Uh, Skull. Huskers are choke artists of the decade. Jeff Sams made some mistakes. Uh, Nebraska radio announcers are ready to puke. I gotta, I feel for them, man. Nebraska, incredible fan base. Magical, big time fan base. Go for kicking his money. Yeah. It's my play calling. Look, it ain't over till it's over. How did Minnesota win that game? Do you know? I don't know. What even happened? What? I don't even remember. Nebraska was at 10. Oh, they fumbled the ball. Nebraska fumbled the ball. And Minnesota scored on a tippy toe. Daniel Jackson barely got his foot in. Then they barely made the extra point. And then Phil Sims, Phil Sims, Jeff Sims, threw an interception that was absolutely ridiculous. And then somehow the Gophers made a kick. Scott P, that's what sports is all about. Enjoy, Greg. Thank you for your super chat. Two dollars. Two dollars. We're gonna open up the phone lines. We're gonna open up the phone lines right now. We're opening up the phone lines right now. 763-260-1333. Please call 763-260-1333. Somebody's gotta call because my voice is gone. Please, I beg you, somebody call 763-260-1333.
Somebody call. Um, somebody call. Somebody call. Enjoy the dub. Unbelievable. Scott Stevens. Congrats, Greg. Have a beer on me. Uh, Dale Donuts. No doubt about it. You guys are set. You guys are absolutely set. Call from West Virginia Jam. West Virginia, you are on the line. The floor is yours. Greg, how are you doing tonight, man? Uh, <clears throat> I might be in the emergency room within the next 25 minutes. Uh, if I don't go to the emergency room, I might survive tonight. How are you doing, sir? Oh, I'm good. Congratulations, man. Was watching that game, had a few beers, <laughs> came home, but uh, tuned you in and got to watch the vicariously live through the rest of the game with you. And it was a pleasure getting to see you enjoy such an outcome. <laughs> yeah. You know, at the end of the day, how important is that game? Not very important. But in the moment, in the night, Gophers, of course, you know, it was important. Great. Oh, I got it. I got it. Yeah, I got to change the score. I got to change the score. I got to change, change the chalkboard. Score. I don't have the chalk. I threw that in the air. Hold on. <laughs> All righty. West Virginia, so, Penn so State. It was, it, so, so you knew, you knew that Nebraska, <laughs> they, have a, they have an ability for this. You have to hand it to them. They're really good at this. They are really good. And tonight, you guys got to be, Minnesota got to be the beneficiary. So hats off to you, Greg. Thanks for all you do. I was glad to see you enjoy your night. Appreciate it. Beautiful. All right. Thanks for the call. You have a good Thank one, buddy. You. All right. Thanks, buddy. Holy smokes. All from the Florida man. The Florida man. I think you, I, in the chat, I think you said, this is my first Minnesota game. Are they all this fun? Is that what you just said? Yes, sir, man. Yeah. That was the first time I ever watched it. Recently came upon your channel. Love it. And uh, just wanted to give you a big old hell yeah, brother from Florida, man. Thank Golden you. Knights won. Golden Gophers won. That was my first time ever watching Minnesota, <laughs> and that was worth every minute of my time wow. just to watch you be happy. I'm glad you're happy, but you get a hell yeah, brother, from Florida. Thank you. Thank you, Florida. I appreciate it, sir. Wow. Yeah. Um, what can I say? <laughs> I, don't, I, I still it's don't even understand what happened. I don't understand what happened. Other than, Amen. Other than it was Nebraska, doing Nebraska stuff. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. Uh, unbelievable. Um, Nebraska turned the ball over. Uh, Minnesota football comeback. Kings. Uh... Watching Greg, the funniest thing I've seen in a while. I'm glad you all got your entertainment. Um, in about 25 minutes, I will be at the Maple Grove Hospital in the emergency room. Uh, the fat guy from Minnesota, this could be it. This could be it. Now, if I make it through the night, we're going to be doing a live watch party, Colorado versus TCU. Saturday, 12 noon Eastern. Then we're going to be doing the West Virginia Mountaineers versus the Penn State Nittany Lions NBC primetime. So join us. Watch party. Call from Dale Donuts. Dale Donuts. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm sorry. You guys, <laughs> you guys outplayed Minnesota. You outplayed Minnesota. Yeah. Well, you got to have the... Uh got to have that guy in the back that's throwing the ball to yeah. throw it to your own team. Otherwise, <clears throat> otherwise you're, you're like Derek Carr. You just become 12th man in the other team's defense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but, now you guys got a, 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 
I think you guys got a true freshman, the kid from Nebraska, right? State of Nebraska. I mean, you got Harburg, but I'm talking about the next, the next Nebraska real quarterback. What Caitlin or something like that? There's there's a couple that are in the pipeline. There's yeah. one kid they're going really hard after over in Oregon, but yeah, who knows? I don't. I couldn't tell you what they're going to do. Matt Rule has he needs he needs a few years. I oh the yeah. Defense, the, the defense showed up. I think oh. they did a fine job, but you can't ask him to keep being staying on the field yeah. if you're going to throw a ball to the other team and keep giving it to them. Hey, yeah. here. Have the ball in the fifty, you know. <laughs> that 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 uh, that three three five man, that had the Gophers all tangled up, and it's going to tangle up teams throughout the Big Ten. That defense is legit, and it's year one of Matt Rule, Tony White. So I, I yeah, but you, you, know. you can't you can't be out there for you know fifteen straight minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. And no matter how many you rotate in, I did think that the, the I thought that the uh, referees were really blind on both sides. Obvious call that should have been holding on uh, Nebraska um, towards the end. Yeah. Should have been pass interference <clears throat> on Nebraska. I uh, don't know. I, 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 the quote that, Sometimes the referee has to let that go because the quality of the throw is so poor, right? I I, 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 I would have <laughs> well, let that go. I, I didn't. That's just, it, guys. It's hard. It's hard because you got inconsistent football. It, to be honest with you, <clears throat> this was kind of a mediocre game. Yeah, I I'm surprised Irvin didn't didn't have a better game. The running back from Nebraska. Um. You know they're. <laughs> I don't know. They they need to establish a running back one. I think he's the cat. I think he's the guy. But uh, and and well, Nebraska's you know their wide receiver room is going to get so much better here in the next couple of years. It's all going to look different for Nebraska. Well, it's going to be different. We're going to, we're going to recruit Southern California. We'll see how this goes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You got that. We. You know, we haven't we haven't had Texas, you know, for years. Ever since we stopped recruiting Texas, we you know it's it's kinda hurt. <laughs> but yeah. I I don't know. So we'll we'll see, but it's gonna take a lot of recruiting. I don't know what's gonna happen here. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, it there's is a lot of good fo- there's a lot of good football to watch uh, this weekend though. Yeah, it so, is. Yeah. I, and I can't tell you who's going to win the uh, Southern Utah and uh, Arizona State tonight. That's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, wow. I was look, I was looking at Southern Utah's. I, actually, I was looking at Southern Utah's uh, schedule. They got a couple tough opponents. It looks like they're playing BYU next week. So, <laughs> man, these guys are brave. Yeah, these guys are brave. But anyway. All right, man. Um, Nebraska, Colorado next week should be some fun. That's in Colorado. Uh, that's gonna, sorry, but I think that's going to be a game of fumbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, right. not, I, I'm not expecting either. Uh, I'm expecting Nebraska to have at least five, six wins, hopefully a bowl. Yeah. I'm not seeing that in Colorado. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what Colorado looks like on Saturday. Shador Sanders, uh, quarterback. Hunter, the great gonna, athlete they got, but we'll see what happens. I wanna I wanna I wanna hear the uh, you know, after Colorado loses, I wanna hear some of the excuses after from yeah. Prime. <laughs> well, you know, Matt Rule needs time, Deion Sanders needs time. So we'll see what happens. You know, how many coaches now are we gonna say we need time over in you know, for some of these guys. I mean, I don't know. Here's the thing. Um, I like Matt Rule a lot. Don't get me wrong. However, would this would these would this bad football play have happened under Urban Meyer? Yeah, I don't. I I bet it wouldn't. Yeah. That's 
that's the thing. I is Nebraska gonna, <laughs> you know, fire this coach after only a couple bad seasons as well? I mean, they they don't get a chance to see their players go yeah. from junior to <clears throat> from Matt, freshman to senior. <clears throat> Matt Rule's gonna get a long, long runway. He's not gonna get fired in a couple of years. I look, Nebraska's better tonight than I thought they were gonna be. I. They did so many things right tonight. Yes, Jeff Sims, he's not the court of, you know, I dogged him all off season. That was one thing I didn't think Matt Rule did good on. And he did the same thing at the Carolina Panthers too. He did not yeah. make good quarterback decisions on that roster. But other than that, man, the defense, they came to play. They had great recognition. They read their keys correctly. They had Minnesota all screwed up, all screwed up. And if they went out and played tomorrow, I think Nebraska would have Minnesota's offense all screwed up again. And that is very good coaching from Tony White, Matt Rule, and the whole staff. So I tip my cap off to Nebraska. You need, well, you need two sides of the ball to go and be productive. You got to play defense and you got to play offense. Yeah. Offense just kind of. You know, didn't you know inconsistent? It was it, you and I discussed this a while back. It, we already I said it was going to be an inconsistent uh, game for the offense. Yeah, and um, yeah, on both, on yep. both, on both. <clears throat> yes, um, you did. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't expect much out of it. That's why I said seventeen to nine. Yeah, which had we scored on that one, it would have been seventeen ten, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, I, I, I think if Urban was there or some other coach, they probably would have had more points than a different quarterback. Yeah. But who knows? It's going to be a long season. Yeah. Hard to base it off of this. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of there, – there's a lot of – going to be a lot of good teams, bad teams. Yeah. From what I understand, Florida is a bad team this year. It's, so. it's, it's going to be a challenging season. For the Nebraska Cornhuskers and the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Uh, but Nebraska's future is very, very, very bright. Nothing has changed my opinion uh, because of what happened well, in the last few minutes. Well, but there's a major change happening next year. Remember, we've got four four more yeah. teams. I don't <clears> know how that <throat> that western part is going to look. Um, being, with, being with Washington and Oregon, that might be kind of hard. USC... I think they're going to – USC and uh, UCLA, I think they're going to want their own island. But. Yeah. All righty, sir. I got to get going here. Yep, me too. Appreciate the phone call. Thank you so much. Take care. Uh, have a nice weekend. Stay safe. You too, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have been 57. Mr. Hot Guy, congrats, Greg, and you can relax. I just dispatched an ambulance with a defibrillator to the corner of Keith Jackson. <laughs> to the corner of Keith Jackson Parkway and Kurt Gowdy Avenue. I've got to close it up. I would love to be on for another hour or so, but I keep in track of my father, and I think I got to get him to the men's room and back in the bed. And so I want to thank you all for joining us here at Peek Around the Corner. It's a watch party. We're going to be doing this through all the season. We're going to have fun, real-time reaction in the chat room, phone calls, big games, and, of course, my beloved Golden Gophers every single week as we try to get to another bowl game. We've won 29 games in the last three years. The best three Season success since 1964 to 1962 to 64 for Minnesota. It's hard for the Minnesota Golden Gophers to win any game. So any game they do win, even if it's by a little bit of a fluke, by a miracle, we have to take that win and go with it. But I think the Gophers are going to take a step back this year, and I think you just saw why. Right? They can't play bully ball. They can't run the ball like they used to. They're going to be a throwing team. And special teams is still 
not good. So the Gophers, they won the game miracle-wise, but man, they got a lot of, there's so many questions they, they have to answer. We were without our best defensive player, Cody, Cody Lindenberg, a linebacker, but that happens to every team. Uh, a lot of the young guys got a lot of playing time tonight. They showed up pretty good. Jeff Sims is not the guy for Nebraska. And when they do get their guy, Matt Rule in Nebraska will rise again. That is my strongly held opinion. Strongly held opinion. So I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do an episode, probably do a live show, watch party, definitely Saturday, two of them, TCU, Colorado, West Virginia, Penn State, and then Sunday night, LSU and Florida State. Thank you all for joining. Before you leave, please smash that like button. Please subscribe to our channel. I thank you so very much. Until next time, from all of us at PATC, to all of you, please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.